in is Matt Peralt. This is our f city. The book is Dave Sherapan. Pay him. Pay that man his money. Together, they are the Bostonian versus the book. You covered! You covered 12! I covered! Follow the show on Twitter at Boston versus the book. How do you like them, Matt? Bringing you the best insight on sports betting news, Matt and Dave's daily picks, and an entertaining and unfiltered dive into the sports betting industry. Here's Dave Sherapan and Matt Peralt. And here we go. Welcome to day number two as we come to you live from Red Tail Lounge here inside of Resorts World, Las Vegas on the Strip. Dave Sherapan, Matt Peralt, welcome to the Bostonian versus the book as we are engrossed in the madness. Look. Come we, on, Yale. We got Yale. Come on, Yale. We got Yale. <laughs> going crazy. Against Auburn here, coming down the really to the very bitter end. You may hear yells and screams behind us. Colorado just knocked out Florida with a last second shot. One oh two seconds left, yep. 102, 101. No, that's how they tied it. They they, they scored it with one second left. Oh. Colorado no. won. Florida, yeah. Florida tied it with, with a three. nine seconds left. Yeah. With, with six go. seconds yeah. left. There and we then, go. And then two two seconds left on a win. Well, Buffaloes a are winning. Yeah. So we are here. We are going to be, I don't know, overrun with people coming on the show today. And that groan just means what? <laughs> Auburn. Well, Ar That's it. Yale won. Mm. Yale, Auburn out. Yale just broke a lot of bra out. a lot of brackets. Kentucky? The oh, SEC champion. There we go. All right, well, let's get to the let's voice. Let's get here to the guy. Yeah, he's <laughs> Sorry, in the background. The guy no, who's no, no. Responsible that's great. for us being here. Richard Corbin from Resorts World, the sports book here in person. How are you, sir? Happy March Madness. Welcome to the show. Matt, Dave, great seeing you guys again, right? It's been since Super Bowl, huh? Right. Yeah. But this is our baby. Yeah. Okay? Oh. This is like the Super Bowl's Kentucky Derby. March Madness is the Breeders' Cup, right? I mean, this is unbelievable. This is hardcore uh, basketball, but uh, it's so much fun. I've been trying to tell people, you don't even have to love basketball. You'll love this. Yeah. Love the experience, right? Right. Oh, my God. It, it, it's amazing. The book is going crazy. I think I think the best, most exciting bet is the first to 15. I mean, it, it's <laughs> unbelievable. No, you like, guys uh, have had people in there. I was sitting with you yesterday. Right? Those guys were sweating it at that other big table. You're yeah. like a casino host hopping from group to group that's for the, the first to 15 bet. That's what I do. It's unbelievable. Oh. These guys come in every year, right? Yeah. Okay. Right. But the first to 15, I'll be back behind the line. All of a sudden, the place will go nuts. And I'm like, the game just started. Right, I look up, right, the, dog, the dog hit the 15 first. Right. So a big bet is the dog first Rich, to 15. Rich, how's, how's the dog doing today? Not good. <laughs> not good. <laughs> and, and, yeah. uh, trust me, I'm on it. <laughs> it's not doing it's, good, but yeah. the book's doing good. The book's so, doing good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but everyone takes the lower seed. Okay, in the first right. of 15. Right. But it adds such an element of excitement, right? Because oh, you don't need the game to end. And then as the other games are starting, there's the first of 15. There's the first. I mean, it's just amazing. You know, the guys are just going crazy and having a great time. What fan base has been the most boisterous so far for you? Is it, it are, are the Kansas fans? I mean, were they hyped up last night? And these Wisconsin fans are loud when they we come in? We have a in? bunch of Wisconsin fans yeah. in town right now. Are you personally per responsible for that? Did you bring those people here? I mean, I'm seriously. A, I'm a Packer fan. But I might put jump around on after the fucking, after the first half. What do you think about that? I put jump around and we have them all go crazy in the I book. Like huh? What do you think about that? I love that idea. Uh, That's no, a really that, good Purdue, idea. Purdue, Purdue, but oh. I mean, these guys are just betting everything, right? right so yeah. you, you know, parlays, Ron Robbins, everything they can do. How and, bad and, was the Kentucky, like, bummer people yesterday when they no, lost? No, the place went nuts. It was great. Oh, Everyone you had to, Oakland betters? Oh, we had tons of Oakland. Everyone bets oh, the dogs, right? They right, want the dogs. Right. So to see Calipari and Kentucky go down, I don't think it broke anyone's heart. <laughs> no, right? not at all. But, but <laughs> those buzzer beaters, so uh, there's another guy, he bet, you know, a 1,000 on, on will there be a buzzer beater, even money. Right? Wow. And every year there's a buzzer beater, okay? Wow. O overtime. We had an overtime today. So oh, it's just well, all well, that kind be, of prop right, betting and all yeah. that kind of excitement right. really adds an element, you know? Where you got kiosks in here. You got one in here. You got them all over the place. The, the kiosk betting picking up for you? Uh, kiosk betting has been amazing, right? Oh. Because you can get more action on all the props on the kiosk and our mobile app, Good. okay? If you're on the mobile app and all that, that's great. And in-game. Can you stop with in-game? So UConn <laughs> is killing it today, right? Yeah. So the line keeps moving and moving and moving, and and they can kind of keep betting the in-game and try to take the dog and hope they make a run and come right. back. So uh, the in-game wagering, the kiosk, 
the, the, the props, everything. It's it, it's amazing. I mean, the place is going crazy. How did you find the time to come over here to oh, say hello to us nice. and visit with us? This is How great. How could I not come and see Dave I, and Matt? I, had to, I mean, Maddie right and sure. Dave, yeah. Maddie and Dave, the Bostonians. That's I mean, what am I going to do? Right. I, what do you make of the Mountain West getting six teams in and they're almost all out? Unbelievable. So really quick a story. My son goes to Nevada, okay. right? Yep. So oh. uh, after the 14-point giveaway yesterday, you know, he's he's up, <laughs> he's up in it with his fraternity house. They're all crying. I'm like, dude, it's going to be okay, right? <laughs> but, no, it's unbelievable. I mean, Boise State, New Mexico kind of went down today. I thought yep. they might make a run, killed. but they didn't. Clemson you know, killed them. A lot of the favorites are coming in this year, which is unusual. You know, but we got early. Run. Yeah, it's early. Thursday, early. Friday. Exactly. We know what's coming for the we, weekend. We still have the afternoon yes. coming, too. Yes. The afternoon yeah. and the evening got it really exciting yesterday, right? So, you know, we're going to see those games. We're going to see the diaper dandies. We're going to see the Cinderella I mean, story. look, I mean, we've seen – Two uh, three eleven seeds win, yeah. So we see a, a thirteen seed win. Right. It hasn't been all chalk. It's been no. It's been some big upsets. Yeah. We, we just haven't seen a one seed go down or a two seed go oh, down. Yeah, but that doesn't happen usually Thursday right. or Friday. It's, well, it's it, did. the games are going to get really interesting for the weekend. Yes. Right. Right. So, like, amazing. And you guys pop the lines up. You know, after the seeds are done. Right. We already have com- tomorrow up. I, I to saw go. the card when yep. I came in. The card for Saturday's up for sure. The guys do a great job with that. Right. Um. What are the plans for the weekend? I mean, more of the same? More of the same. I mean, I've got all these groups that come in every year, right? Yeah. We've been coming for years, blah, blah, blah. But since we opened Resorts World, we've only been open for three years. But great guys that have followed me and come, you know, all the groups are in. They love it. It's just so you much excitement. You brought these Boston so much guys? Fun. All these, yeah, and a bunch oh, of all these Bostonians these Bostons, over oh, here. I don't know what to God, do with them. Look at them. Look at them. Look at Matt. Matt my knows. People. That's my, my people. people. He keeps yeah, saying. my people. Yeah, my people. Yeah. My people. Yeah. My people. Yeah. I brought. I, I brought people. a couple over to talk to you today, Matt. We're we need. We need one. We no, need they're, right. they're, yeah. yeah they're, when he's ready, we yeah. got to get him on. Gonna put him on. We got to get you back to work. Have a conversation. I got to work. You got. Listen, this is called work. This isn't work. Is this your favorite week? I was gonna say it's your favorite week, right? It used to be ours, right? Yeah. I, it, I'm on fumes the whole weekend, <laughs> and I don't care. I, I woke up at 2 in the morning thinking right. i got to go to work already. Right. I, I love it. I right. don't care. I, I mean, know. Hey, sleep when it's over. That's all That's I know. It. Get some, yeah, you'll get sleep Sunday and uh, then do it all over again next week. You got you it. You know, you got the regionals. We you got it. all this stuff. It'll be awesome again in the book, right? right? Yeah, incredible. Thursday, Friday, come down. Come to Resorts World. Yeah. Check it out. All kinds of action, food specials, drink specials. Come down, see Richard Corbett. I'll take care of you. We'd love to see you. His name's and, right on the screen, boys yeah, and girls. There yeah, there you go. That's your contact right what, there. In, in terms of what you guys are rooting against, where are the red numbers for you in the futures market? Who do you want to see go down? UConn. Okay. <laughs> okay. UConn. And today, I think they showed their uh, oh, their, yeah. pro- I mean, their prowess. No you, problem. You know, they yeah, stayed here last year. So oh. UConn stayed here last year. They did the whole parade, walking out to the bus. They had oh. you know, the husky there. Or everything. Oh, okay. So yeah, yeah. They were on property, but they just did they bring to, fans or were they kind of quiet? Oh, just oh as, my God! The whole parade, of, the band, oh, everything. Oh, really? Three deep. Well, watching them walk out, it was amazing. Jeez, I wish and, we would have known. We could have come down. You could have like led the fight song, cheers yeah, and stuff. UConn, yeah. that would have been good. What a neat I UConn. What a neat. <laughs> Oh, I was gonna say, I would have, I would have he knee- he's Boston, right? Yeah. He hates him. Hates. I would have kneecapped the, the mascot. <laughs> Does not like the husky would have taken a shot. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It would have yeah. been a problem. Yeah. There would have been a yeah. yeah there there could have been a big yeah. problem. No, it was fun. They look unstoppable. I'm from, Come on, I'm a UMass guy, so you calling us? We don't get along at yeah. all. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I get that, man. That's, that's our answer. That. That's our, our our rival, or if there was one. But right, the vibe that you are seeing, obviously, guys come here and bet dogs, right? I mean, it happens a lot. Right. But is there, other than the first 15, which has become like the bet of the of the March Madness every year now, is there another market you're seeing people jump into that you're surprised? Well, like I said, uh, you know, overtime is yeah. a big one. And, and again, you know, the buzzer beater. How are you so pricing those? That's the, those? That's the I mean, new one. Oh. You know, we're even money on the buzzer beater. And so but what's, you have the, to what's admit the language? How? What's the language on, the, on a buzzer beater? Any like? game. Any game. No, Any, but like what, the whole tournament. what constitutes a buzzer a buzzer beater? The ball goes in. Wins the game as, yeah, hits the last shot as so, the buzzer goes so off. So there's point one on the clock. It's not a buzzer beater. Well, it is if the clock goes to zero, right? So, so in other words, like we've seen before. Yeah. You know, they, they loft it up. It yeah. hits. The buzzer game goes ends. off. Game right. ends, right? Yeah. Buzzer beater. Okay. We haven't seen one yet, but we see it every year. 
Because right. technically, I mean, that, technically, Colorado would not be a buzzer beater, no. even though it was very no. close. No, no. It was Florida right. got a shot off. It was one after, second. Yeah. Yeah. Correct. That wouldn't off. be a buzzer right. beater, yeah. right? Uh, but yeah. over time, all the props, it's all okay. fun. And that's what's right. great about March Madness, right? It's Everyone. starting to take the effect of Super Bowl. Exactly. How, how oh, okay. the prop betting is really starting to gain traction because the menus are getting so deep. Yeah. Unbelievable. And I had a guy ask me today, hey, can you put up the first first team to hit a three-pointer? Oh. So if the game starts, who hits the first three-pointer? Is Player it going to be this team? team or that team? No, team. just team. Team. Yeah. So it's almost like right. first to 15. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You hit the uh, first three-pointer. Three, right. Which yeah. I'm like, that's brilliant. Instantly so we'll decided, add that yeah, next we'll year. Add that right? To the right? Menu. Oh, you're, yeah. you're absolutely right, yeah. Dave. Yeah. I mean, it, it is like Super Bowl where you're adding more and more every year. And it's, it's just, fantastic. It, keep, it keeps getting more exciting. You know, it's amazing. Love it. Good All stuff. Right. Get Good out stuff. of here. Look in the camera. Richard Corbin. Give him your name. Right there. Come Richard on down Corbin. to Resorts, Resorts World this World. weekend. Have Perfect. fun. Excellent. Thanks, guys. Thanks right, for get, having me. Get this it. Eddie guy from Boston. Oh, he's got, he's got Eddie. Boston we got to bring Eddie. Step Eddie. Over. <laughs> step over the thing. Come here. Step over the thing. Come on. Watch the cord. Watch the court, Richard. Oh, God. Okay. okay. <laughs> there you go. All right. Eddie, sit down. Talk to All these right. guys like you're from Boston. This is Eddie. Talk to these guys like you're from Talk Boston. Talk to this guy What's up, like Eddie? he's from Boston. How are we doing? How are we doing? Good. We you can good? hear us? Yes. All right. Eddie, you're from Boston. Yes. Both parents are. I was a military brat, but both parents are from Springfield, Mass. Okay. So it's in the blood. So I won't hold that against you. You're wearing a Celtic shirt. Smart man. Of course. Do you have a lot of those? Several. Bruins, <laughs> everything. It's Boston or nothing in our house. Really? Of course. Patriots? Of course. Uh, See, I told Dave yesterday that the Bruins and the Celtics both have the best record in each league, and he's from Pittsburgh. So the Pittsburgh Penguins have more losses combined or th themselves than the Bruins and the Celtics do combined. Yeah, but <laughs> trading Genzel, I, I mean... Crosby wasn't happy it's about over. that. It's over. I, yeah, it's it, over. It was a run, it's though. Just, it was it a was good a run. It was a great run, but it's over. That's how we feel with the Pats, kind of. It was a great it run. It was a great run. But, but this dynasty thing that's on, have you watched this the, 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 on Apple TV? I haven't. I haven't. He's watched it. Oh, you should. I'm missing it's out. It's a smear job. Okay. Yeah. It's, it's a, it's a, I would say it's a smear job as much as it, it's propaganda for Bill Belichick was the reason why everything fell apart. Well, I did hear that Gronk came out and kind of said, hey, I'm not me without Bill, so yeah, yeah, yeah. pump the brakes a little. But oh. Tom, I'll have to check it out. I and get Tom home Monday. I'll have to watch it Monday. Oh, okay. Tom has two, but it, it's a lot of, like, Robert Kraft getting to explain this is what Bill Belichick did. Bill Belichick came in and handed me stats that showed me Tom Brady has the worst passing percentage of any quarterback throwing the ball 20 yards down the field, that he's right. continually declining, and it's time to move on. And it was like, wow. Like, that's a private conversation in the moment that you're airing without Bill having any retort on the other side. Well, and after six rings, yes. I, I mean, what more do you deserves want? A little, exactly. Like, I mean, drama. you got him. It, it, it was good. It's drama. But it's funny because I got buddies. Oh, they haven't won since you were in high school. I go, well, they ran. I was in middle school, and then I yeah. was out right. of school. Right. I mean, that's how long that's the rain was. Time. Yeah, My that, that's entire a long time. professional career. I graduated college in 1999. This is the Boston portion of okay. the show, boys and girls. 1999. From 1999 to 2024, Annoying. Yeah. I saw. Four World Series, six Super Bowls, yes. a Stanley Cup, <laughs> and a Celtics championship. Ridiculous. So, see, I'm in Colorado now, Okay. but that's what I try to tell everyone. Y'all just don't get it. We've been spoiled. Yes. We've it'll, been it'll spoiled. It'll never be repeated. It'll never. never be repeated. I don't think so. The last so. 20 years, will never be, by any single city, will never no, be repeated. No, football-wise. And there's yeah, already there's no the way. Futures ticket on the Bruins and the Celtics to both win this year. So yeah, we call that we, the uh, B's and C's parlay. Yeah, got That's to. the B's and C's yeah. parlay. Yeah. Have to. Yeah. A B's and C's parlay. If they both so, win, you know how insufferable I'm going to be? The, the Bruins and the Celtics both win this year? Yeah. You know how insufferable I'm going to be? Yeah. <laughs> I am, I, I'm already thinking about it. I, I can't believe, again, the show's called Bostonian versus the book. Thank you guys for all watching that clip. That one went a little viral uh, today on the on the socials. You've watched the show before on Sports Grid. Is this true? Yeah, big fan of the ah. Sports Grid. It's actually funny when you. I saw you last night. You came up to the book, yeah. and I said, "And I'm I'm more radio in okay. the car at work, yeah. headphone in, yeah. and uh, that, that's Dave Sharp. <laughs> that's the consigliere <laughs> right there. It was great. So no, it's yeah, it's uh, yeah. so big this fan. will re-air tonight, so you can listen watch to it tonight, it. Yeah. watch tonight. Yeah. It'll uh, all of that stuff." It'll be on Sports Grid again. Um, what's this trip like for you? 
It's I mean, a blast. you've been doing yeah. this trip for a while, right? Yeah, so it's, I mean, outside of every year, outside of the COVID year, which I think we finally canned that two days before. I mean, it was you tough. You were holding on. It was, it, we were right? holding yeah. on, like, yeah. this is the week. Uh, and uh, we come to Resorts World every year. Uh, we just have a blast. The dog house over there. I mean, it just, nice. we turn it into the big house. You get first to 15, that dog, the whole place erupts. Yep. Yeah, that's great. It's funny, it's one year the, the suits were down with Richard and, and just a random someone gets 15 there's and the place just goes nuts and they're kind of looking around he's kind of see this is the energy it creates yes. so, I mean, the energy yes it's you it's, need uh, to be in yeah, there to it, feel it yeah well yeah and then i mean you come with like dad mom like, i mean everybody comes right? my dad like, and i right. come luckily okay. my wife's i've got a almost two-year-old at home so wife takes those responsibilities oh, for the week got a pass. so shout out to her she lets me leave <laughs> yeah but, uh, good, good idea, yeah Eddie. yeah good and, idea. Uh, yeah so we come out every year there's like 10 of us and it's 12 hours in the sports book oh, but, uh, that's 12 hours in the sports book baby that's great all right um well we got to get uh we got to get teddy covers on next are we good what are we doing right now we're fine all right stay patient we're, we're good. good um Who's your pick to win it all? Did you have it? Did you place any futures? I did. Or, you just, or is it just game to game, like when you're here? It's awesome. It's game to game, but I do have. It sounds chalk, UConn, right? But, That's fine. So but, what? But I, my futures ticket is North Carolina. I did. I went there. So. Oh, you went to North Carolina? No, that's that was my pick. That was oh, my pick. Oh, okay. So UConn's okay. the right, easy right, answer, yeah. but I went North right, Carolina. Cool. Yeah. All right. Well, that's good. Are we good? I'm going to let Eddie go, guys. I'm going to let Eddie go. Are we good? I'm going to let Eddie go. All right. Eddie, look at the camera. Tell your wife hello and thank you for, for coming. Hi, again. Alexa. Thanks for letting me come out. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Perfect. Take that headphone off. Set it right on that table. That's Eddie from Boston, boys. Watch that cord when you get over that cord. Thanks, brother. I'll see you back in the book. Yeah, All right. We're going to hang out and watch a game after. Thanks, man. It. Good seeing you. Appreciate All right. that. That All was right. Eddie from Boston. All right. Everything good? Yeah, yeah. Just you, he was screaming and you were screaming and everyone totally was loud. Everything was overmodulating. So it's fine. All right. We're all good. No, it, it, it's no, the audience at home doesn't hear it. Where's Teddy? I don't know where Teddy went. Teddy was next. Teddy was next. Teddy, Teddy right. leave? Did he leave? No. He was, I mean, he's somewhere around here. I don't no. know. We'll get Teddy covers on here. All right. Teddy's next. Matt Metcalf is here. Oh, really? Yeah. He's popping oh, over. Oh, all right. He's nice. going to come in and talk all to right. us. Good seeing you guys. Yeah. Thank you for coming. Thank on. you, guys. Appreciate you, uh, you yelling again. There you go. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Uh, okay, so let's update everyone as we have a second here. We can kind of get into the scores as to what just went on. Not we, one dog has won the first five or the first of 15. That's amazing. That's not good for people. That's amazing. Not that one stinks. dog. No. Today or no, overall? Today. Old term, today. Uh, There's today. Teddy right there. Perfect. All right, so we got uh, A&M is tied with Nebraska. That, that that money came pouring in. Not pouring in, but it flipped the, the it flipped back and forth. It was Nebraska was favored, then Texas A&M, then Nebraska, then A&M. It closed with A&M being a favorite okay. here in this game. Uh, Duke is up, sorry, losing now, 10-9 to Vermont. That game early. We mentioned it before, but we saw. Do you think Vermont has any shot of None. That? To win, they may cover, but they're not going to win. Uh, another loss for the Mountain West. New Mexico got hammered, 77-56. They got San Diego blown State up. won, San Diego though. State did win. They yeah. beat UAB, 65. They did not cover, though. Uh, Florida loses outright to Colorado, 102-100. to Northwestern with the win. Uh, everyone was at, on FAU. Everyone yeah. was on FAU. Yeah. Northwestern overtime win. They win and they cover easily with a four and a half dog price coming in. Baylor 92-67. They win and they cover easily over Colgate. Marquette amazing second half. 51-26 outscored Western Kentucky. 87-69 the win. They do cover the 14 and a half points, which is ridiculous on that to do that. UConn 52 to 19. If you had the first half under in that game, how the hell did that game go over? With one score, with team scoring 19 points in the first half, went over because UConn scored 52 points in the first half. Yeah, it goes over 70 and a half was the first half total in that game, and it goes over. Unfortunately, we got James Madison and Wisconsin, Longwood, Houston, Charleston, Alabama, Purdue, and Grambling, TCU, Utah State, and Grand Canyon and St. Mary's to round out the rest of the night happening later on tonight. The jacket is exquisite, my friend. What color is that? It is a gorgeous coat. It looks so good in Teddy person. Teddy Covers in person my joining us here goodness. on BVB. How are you, sir? It's salmon. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. 
So yeah. I, I, I was I was waiting to get what out of here. What were you doing there? And, and I just went in. I, I swear, I, I just almost bought a jacket like they've been, in the five minutes that I've been here. Really? Oh. Yeah, they have some really cool jackets in there. So. Nice. Well, you but, look good. Yeah, That's but I'm too, you know, I didn't, I didn't actually do it. <laughs> 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 you know. nah. um, they were like, so, you know, they were, they were, they were pricey, dude. They're, yeah. Know, I mean, yeah, I, I, I just can't. Down I mean, strip, John, yeah. how much you spend on your outfits? You know, I can't. I can't Him? Like it's a sometimes. Uh -oh. I mean, I got guys for stuff, so I don't always get the uh, the sticker price. Yeah, like, yeah, we yeah, got to yeah. have a guy about, you yeah, know, yeah. things Falling like the that. Yeah. Truck, yeah, some sometimes, sometimes like that. Um, I see you every Tuesday yes. uh, with, you know, the other guy, the yeah, press, the other guy, <laughs> the other guy, press. Mm -hmm. He's, you know, he's he's tweeting at me now, actually. As um, you're on air. Yeah. Yeah. He, you know, he's, he can't wait to see you. Sees you enough. Always you. Always you. There we go. Jesus. They're always good after the game. Always. Every time always. after the game. <laughs> never, um, never before. <laughs> we talked on Tuesday about this week. Yes. What has your, been your impression so far of Thursday and Friday? Fun. It's great, <laughs> isn't it? I mean, look, I was really mad when Arizona missed a free throw and then missed the putback. And, the, you know, the, the end of the Arizona game made me a little bit nuts. Yep. So what I do, I took a shower. I took a reset. That's what we do. Last, yeah. Last That's night. All. Yeah. Last night was fine. Yeah. Today's been great so far. Yeah. You know, nobody bet uh, uh, Northwestern. I bet Northwestern. Ooh. I was the one guy. Good for you. Nice, nice job. Yeah. That was a hell of a sweat. I stayed away. Oh, my God. It was a sweat and a half. Oh. I didn't get the best of the number. I took three and a half. Oh. And uh, he goes to the free throws for the one and one, <laughs> you know. Uh, so, yeah, it's always. But, I mean, look, a lot of these games, let's be real, a lot of these tournament games, not all of them. But enough of them are going to come down to, you know, some kid hitting a free throw or some kid traveling or some ref making a bad call or Last a good night. call or whatever it is. The lines are tight. We know they're tight. And that's why this time of year, I, you know, you don't go nuts. No, no. Ones. You know, have all the action you want. Little. But you don't go nuts. Yeah, you know? go little. I mean, it, it's the books have so much information. Now, the, the gamblers do as well, but it's coming down to sometimes coaching, sometimes you know, a, a good play, a good call. I mean, the block last night that was a block, it was called a foul. Oh, oh my God. My God. That was Dude, all We would ball. see that highlight forever. Yes. And instead, oh, we it, it, got we, robbed. We'll, we'll never see it again. We got, got robbed by a referee making, you know, that's a ref. In, they still covered, though. They did. They did cover. Which is, is but, <laughs> I mean, they should have won the game outright. I mean, it should have been an up to a dog outright. It would be a huge upset. But that's, unfortunately, like, this is why you got to be careful, right? Because you can't be overly exerting yourself. There's 16 games yesterday, today, 16 games, eight tomorrow, eight on Sunday. Well, I mean, more than that. I mean, what, what, what does uh, Mr. Sheriff and come on my show and say all the time? Because nobody knows Squadouche. Yes. That's all it. Right? I mean, uh, there's an element of randomness that's very real. There's going to be a lot of games that come down to, you know, fairly close to the point spread or right. the total or yep. the first half total or the in game, right. you know, and. When you're running good, you're on the right side of all of those. And when you're running bad, you're on the, you're wrong, on the side. wrong side. And Me. that's the absolute right truth of it, okay? Yes. I've been doing this for 26 years full-time every freaking day. Yep. You know, I've been betting tournaments, and that's, you know, you have great tournament. What's the difference between a great tournament for me and a terrible tournament? A couple I calls. I win the close game. Right, yeah, a couple right. calls. A uh, right, games. a turnover you know? or two. Yeah. A bounce goes your way. So, How yeah, Arizona you... made me freaking nuts, dude. <laughs> that gave me, I was like, we're not, get, we're not doing this, you know. We're so, not. That's where I'm leading to next. How much do you take into the next day from what you saw? I try to explain to people, you almost have to have one of those men in black nebulizer <laughs> things that goes zip and forget what you saw because you don't want to, like, handicap Arizona by what you saw against Long Beach State and maybe cover or not. Like, I don't carry too much. Do you? Okay, so between Thursday versus Friday? No. Yeah, I definitely carry stuff over. Because yeah, Thursday, right now Friday the Pac-12 is, the is yes. bet on. Right. And the Mountain West, West is, is bet, bet against. against. Yes. And we know this. Right. Okay, we knew right. that coming into today. But first and round, the second round game. So first, like, Oh, no. So what you, what, what you want to do in the second round is find the team that look crappy in the first round but still won. Exactly. That's the recipe for winning the second round, you know, I, I I tend to like the weekends better than the weekdays. I've been saying because that it's for a, it's years. one of those formulas that you use every single no matter right. what year. the teams are. Right. Okay, right. doesn't matter. Here's right. the formula. Right. You look crap. You know. You know. It, it, if they're a capable team, if not a capable team, it's a different story. All right. So let's, let's but, put let's put it to the test then. Yeah. Yeah. What do you do with Kansas and Gonzaga? I think we play Gonzaga and bet, bet against. Kansas. So that but that would be they both look bad though. I mean KU. I mean, Zags looked okay. 
I thought the Zags looked I mean, Sam, KU is Samson. not the KU is not the team that we that Correct. they were. Well, there's no McCuller, so it's and tough. And this is yeah. okay. This is how old I am. Yep. Kenyon Martin. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Cincinnati. Okay. That's where I Kids, learned this look lesson. Them up. Okay. Injury. That's where I learned the lesson. Doesn't matter how good your regular season was. Doesn't matter right. what, what, when your when your key guy goes out before the tournament. You're not the same team, and you bet against them. Kansas is yeah. not the same team. I bet against them you yesterday, against and I'm going to bet against them tomorrow, too. Yeah. I mean, I think Gonzaga's playing so, really well. I, mean, I can Frank, only take Zags. KU was lucky to win the game. I mean, Samson was right. I mean, they, they were right there with a chance to win that. And, I mean, I, I think there's going to be a lot of Big 12 questions. I mean, I want to see what Houston does here today. I want to see what a lot of these teams, because the Mountain we West. We know what Houston's going to do. Crush them. Houston's going to I mean, whether they win by 22 or whether they win by 32, we don't know. But yeah. we know what Houston's going to do. That's not going to be a competitive game. I would, I would. How do you feel about Iowa State say. then? So here's the problem. All right, Wazoo's my little team. Ooh, okay. okay. You like them? I've been riding Wazoo. I rode them all year. <laughs> they were, they were probably my favorite team in all of college basketball this year. Why? Wow. Who because says that? Nobody, <laughs> nobody paid any attention to them. Until it was all the end. BS. Yeah. Uh, until they beat Arizona. Yeah, the end. Okay. Until right. they beat Arizona, at. McHale, whatever they yeah, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> at, at Arizona, at, at Arizona, Arizona. yeah. Yep. That was when all of a sudden, oh, was and by that point they were, I think, ten and two ATS their yep. last yep. twelve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And as soon as they beat Arizona, I shut them down. That's the end of Arizona. Uh, yeah, what was you for now? Right. Yep. And then I picked them up again at the start of this tournament. Good. Okay. Yesterday. Their statistical profile isn't amazing. They have no expectations. They nope. have no fan base. They have no betting bandwagon. Good coach. Um, there goes our sponsorship in Spokane. I'm, I'm okay Minnesota. with that. And, <laughs> and, and Washington State's not in Spokane, Washington, but that's Gonzaga. But yes. Oh yeah. No, where's where's Washington? Pullman, Washington. Pullman. Yeah, Pullman. Pullman. Even, right. more, even worse. Up. Now e we're e even worse. Canceled. Washington State. Now we're off all of Western. Yeah. Seattle loves all us. Seattle loves Gonzaga's us. Gonzaga's loves Gonzaga's us. hard you. to get to. Pullman, Washington is impossible to get oh. to. Oh, have you been? Uh, no, thankfully. Oh. All right. I, I know uh, the places that might be from Moscow. Right. Places it might be impossible to get to that you might know about. You hear about this Oakland team? Sure, the Grizzlies. Michigan. Yeah, yeah. Where are they from? It, They're from Michigan. Yes. yes. Have you ever been? Oakland County, of course. I went to Michigan. I mean, <laughs> that's, you know, he's a Michigan yeah. guy. Oh, you. You yeah, yeah, that's yeah. what I'm asking you. <laughs> sure. Because is this a team that you would look to bet? That kid hit nine threes. No, he hit ten threes. Ten? And, uh, Finished uh, with and ten? He wasn't the only one, one shy. Uh, yeah, he was ten of twenty from yeah. three. He's only hit four two pointers for the season. Yeah. Insane. And he would, in, the, in the interview, someone interviewed him yesterday. Do you flip it around and they remember. played great? Do you fade them in game two? Because so, can you match that in game two? The, my thought process on their opponent, okay. NC State, was five games in five days last week. Fade them immediately. Auto fade. Nope. And what'd they do? One. They looked better. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. They, I mean, they were dominant in the second half. They looked like a, a contending team last night. So, that's the one side. Now and now you have to think about NC State differently. Now you say, hmm, right. they survived this test. They survived that test. Now they're a team whose season-long stats are lying. And now they become a bet-on team in your head, in my head. Okay. Right. But their betting bandwagon is already huge. All right. I'm not jumping on the NC State betting bandwagon here. That said, they're not a team I'm looking to fade. Fair. Okay. So Oakland – off the biggest win any of them have ever had, those teams are more likely to have a little. All right. you know, uh, I need your un, I need your unbiased eyes on this game because I don't know what the hell to do with it. So Dane Altman coaches Oregon. Yeah. I spent more time with Dane Altman than any other coach I've spent time with in Omaha, Nebraska. He was on my show literally every other day, basically. Sure. Back in his day in Creighton. Back Creighton. Yep. I did pre and post for the Blue Jays. I did five years of afternoon drive. I started the rival site for Coach McDermott and Rivals. Covered all the recruiting. Came here to Vegas every single year covering all, all the high school basketball stuff. I don't know what to do with this game. Oregon Creighton tomorrow. What do I do? He said this was going to happen before the tournament when we saw the bracket. He goes, man, I don't know what I'm going to do if these if they both win. And I think Altman's going to win. It's like, I don't know who I'm going to root for. He's been tearing them up for about a week. I said Oregon was going to win the Pac-12 tournament because I looked at the numbers. They were gigantic dogs. I was like, how the hell are you putting Oregon this big? Dan Altman is so good in tournaments, and he went and won the Pac-12 tournament. And now he gets to go against the guy who took over his job when he left the second time. First time was Arkansas. Second time was, was Oregon. The Jays shot 62% from three in the first game. The, their MO would be to shoot 22% from three tomorrow. 
Jets. You already know who you're playing. <laughs> okay. I already know who you're playing. I already know who I'm playing. You answered it yourself. That's it. Okay. I don't want to bet Oregon. <laughs> I don't want to bet Oregon. So Dude, this uh, is the beauty of it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. You don't have to bet every game. I don't, but it's a game I want to have money on just for my personal fun. But if you're, this if game. you're when you're torn, okay. I have a Creighton future at thirty to one. So <laughs> this is this is so key. When you're torn on a game, walk away. All right, you have to. You're mad. No matter what happens, you have to. You, you, you're mad. Right. Yep. You know. Yep. It, it's like when you're when you go back and forth and then back again. Yeah. That it's like usually, no. That that's, usually ends up that's, bad. That's, that's bad. I mean, yeah. I, 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 no, I, I'm, I'm willing to go back. Like, oh, start with this lean and then look at the game closely. And go no, really. The other, you know, I'll go the other way. That, but once you go start with the lean and then look the other <laughs> way and then look back the first way, that's when you know it's, you know, there's, there's better games to bet on. Yeah. Tonight, St. Mary's. Grand Canyon. Yeah. Lopes. Exciting game for everybody. Great game. Great game. Any real strong opinion? I I really don't know. So I was tempted by the dog. In yes, this game. that's right. Yes, I, bet. I, I was tempted by the dog, yes. and I talked myself out. I, I mean, I, I, I have two bets going right now. I have Duke and I have Purdue tonight. That's okay. All I got. Okay. Um, so Duke's up five we're, on, we're, on uh, Vermont. We're 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 hoping that tonight is a, at least for those games is a little bit chalky. chalky. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I'm not surprised today's chalky. You know, I like betting favorites in the first round. Yes. Everybody's yes. looking for trendy underdogs, and I'll play a lot of chalk. I played, you know, I Baylor this morning. Right. Um, Boy, they look pretty good. They are pretty good. They yeah. are they're pretty very good. good. They're very good. But they're I inconsistent. Like they're inconsistent. Know. Well, that's why they're not going to be national champions. Yeah. Right. But can they make a run? Sweet 16 or beyond, yeah. Damn straight they can. Yeah. I lost track. What game? I got distracted. What game we St. talking St. Mary's about? and Grand Canyon. Good game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, yeah. So Total? Look, over. You can't It's so play, easy to say that game over, you though. You can't but play I can't any St. Mary's, Mary's game, game over. over. That's what I did. And especially That's, on St. Mary's non-conference game. Ooh, over, okay. Because they don't see that defense. Correct. And St. Mary's, they play some sick D. They do? Okay. On the reg, and that's but they why. play against teams like they go crazy for Gonzaga. Yes, I can't wait to watch how they do against Grand Canyon because they got athletes. We've watched a lot of Grand Canyon games in the WAC. Yeah. In the WAC, they are a fun, fun team. as hell. Yeah, and athletic. I, like, I bet the Very dog. I, I, I took five and a half. I, I think the Lopes have got a chance to win the game outright. So guys I, I, in the chat, vote right now on that game. St. Mary's minus five, Grand Canyon. Oh, was it down to five? five? Okay. I got, yeah. I got, I got well, five and a half. Last I, night. Well, it might be five and a half right now. Okay. I saw it this morning. It was five, so okay. I, I don't know. But I, I do think there's there's some correlation there. You know, if St. Mary's going to win that game, it's staying it, under. It, well, I, I would think it correlates with under. Yeah, Fav- favorite in the under. Particularly okay. uh, if the Lopes are loping, uh, we, 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 we we want that game over. Maybe. Yeah. You know, that's 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 a correlation. I think the correlation might be stronger for the dog and over. Okay. Than the favorite. Yeah, over. I would agree with you. Dog and over. Yeah, I, yeah. Yeah, I, I don't think that they're scoring, or they're they're winning or covering and, uh, without, without oh, getting into the sixties. It's six at South Point. Okay, okay. six so. at South Point, five and a half everywhere else. There we yeah. go. St. Mary's Lopes. St. Mary's Lopes. It's it's back it's, and, it's, back it's a good. That's how you know it's a good number, right? Yeah. Is uh, is anybody beating UConn in this thing? No, nobody is. He said it so fast. He was that was very convincing. They're that good. They well, are that good. So. The last back, and again, I'm freaking so old. I remember the last back-to-back champions really well. The Florida Gators. Yep. Al oh, team. yeah. Yep. yeah. Okay. UConn's that team. You know, they, they, they brought enough back. The defensive wow. mentality's there. The there NBA were three first-round picks on that Florida team. Sure. Th- there's not three first-round picks on this team for the for, for UConn. Correct, but they don't need them. Okay. It's going to be interesting to see They're how they. deep. They're so deep. Yeah. They're young deep. They're deep, but they still have freshmen that play big minutes. I know, but, so they, but, but that's could, okay. Can UConn lose? Absolutely. Yeah. Anybody. But yeah, if, I, if I have to make one bet, that's the only yeah. uh, the only bet I'm making is yeah. the UConn. I mean, the problem is for anyone who wants to see UConn lose is that they gave them the gift of gifts as where they're going. They bus trip to Brooklyn and bus trip to Boston. Sure. So, I mean, their path is so easy from a travel perspective. Everybody else is getting on charters and flying around the country to play them. So, from a legs perspective, I love that. They're going to go to Arizona which is cross country, which would be difficult once they get to the final four. But I don't know. I, I have them losing to Iowa State in the Elite Eight. I think Iowa State beats them. Iowa State goes to the final four. Iowa State's got to get past Wazoo, my friend. That's not oh, going to – I don't think it's going to be hard for them. No. I think under. That game is a dead under. And I think I think it fits into Iowa State's what they want to do. I mean, Iowa State's got 
right now, if they shoot the way they're shooting, Iowa State can win the whole thing. I just don't think they're going to shoot the way they're shooting because defensively, they're as good as, as Houston can be defensively. So, so I, I actually, I, 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 was, I, I wasn't going to fill out a bracket, and then I filled out one bracket, and I think I put Iowa State in the Final Four. Okay, so. did you? Over you, Okay, yeah. yeah. Oh, that makes sense. I'll be I really curious to see if, if they go and they win another one, Dan Hurley goes from being insufferable to being just absolutely unwatchable. I can't handle Dan Hurley after one championship. I can't handle <laughs> after two. That'll be just – I mean, you should hate it. It's another, it, it. Because people from New England are claiming UConn is another dominant – I know, I, mean, I know. Another Boston I know. domination. They're doing it already so, on the big net four-letter I mean, network already claiming on ESPN. That, you know, Boston everything. sports dominates everything. Yeah. UConn's going to go, here's our next dynasty. It's ridiculous. It's a UConn dynasty. Um, I'm not claiming it, but – Pivot for a second. Are you looking at any NFL with the draft or wow. anything like that? Are you, are you looking at anything – Excellent question, Dave. Thanks for asking. Oh. Uh, the answer is no. Okay. So was <laughs> Thank like, God. I, I was expecting well, no, this, that. This is why, okay, especially when you talk about free agency, people overreact to everything. 100%. Everything. Yeah. You don't get a true assessment about what a team's goals are for the next year, what a team actually expects to accomplish and what they're likely to be able to accomplish until after the draft. I mean, it Thanks. is really yeah. You have to use them in tandem. Yeah. And when you see a team trading up in the draft, you know something. When you see a team trading down in the draft, you know something. When you see a team drafting a first-round quarterback, you know something. When you see a team not a drafting a first-round quarterback, you yeah. know something. So once you have the draft and free agency, literally that next week, that's all I do is I jam NFL. All right. With the, with the schedule release oh, and yeah. you you, well, you, no. you start you that, have season that, that, win numbers right away because you the, know the opponents. The because so I'm jamming NFL personnel in terms of power rating numbers. Okay, all right. From a power rating standpoint, that's okay. when I want my work done okay. that week. Then once we have the schedule release, I'm not making a bet on the NFL until I see the schedule release. Oh it yeah, makes a big tell people that all the time. When yeah, you yeah. play, well, who you play, when, when? you play them, yeah. right? You know. And a crappy team that plays a bunch of other crappy teams early and they're six and two, guess what? They're not a crappy team anymore. And a great team that plays a brutal schedule and after eight games they're four and four, guess what? They might still be a great team, but maybe yeah. not. Ask the Eagles. You know? Yeah. How about the Eagles so, last year? I, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they cashed my under. <laughs> of, of all. That was a nice I was sweat. so. <laughs> I, look, it was one of those week after week. I'm like, they got to lose this week. The guy, and they kept on stealing these wins and stealing these wins. And, then, and I'm like, geez, I'm going to lose that. Uh, and then, you know, I mean, the week, week, week 18 last year actually made me, with the exception of the Jaguars, week 18 made me really happy. Right. Uh, Let me ask you a big picture question because you've talked about how much you've been in the space. I'm curious your your, your view on this. So, J.B. Bickerstaff, coach of the Cavaliers, yeah. came out and said that he's been getting death threats from gamblers. Wasn't me. We've got <laughs> Shohei Ohtani, the biggest baseball player on the planet, star power-wise, in the middle of what could be a, a pretty big gambling scandal. We've had college basketball with the Temple Owls recently. Has this always been going on, and we're just reporting about it now? Or is this what has happened post-legalization that we are now seeing more of these stories come out? Interesting question. Good question. And um, so, but we, we need to go through them individually. Okay. All right. This is what happened at Temple. Suspicious betting. Yep. No allegations of anyone doing anything. Well, there were after the fact. What have, what have you heard on that? We, we put it on the screen numerous times. There are people talking about guys who were in the pocket of the New, New York mob on the team. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't heard that. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No, okay. We, we, so, we, yeah. we read the story. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we put yeah. it up. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I, I guess yeah. I, haven't, yeah. I haven't followed it nearly as much okay. as yeah. I yeah. 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 All I was following yeah. was Temple covering every spread. Right. Uh, well, they did cover was, until the last until yeah. it was bad. Yeah. But so, so, so there's, there's, there's real legs to that. The, the, well, the, a lot of is, rumors that rumors. were pushed forward. very forward in publications. Yes. Somebody somebody fed some stories. We don't know. Well, there's a there's a gambling integrity investigation. Unit, uh, Matt Holt, great he's guy. On it. Yeah, okay. he's yeah. on it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He's, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. he's a Boston yeah. guy. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and and there have been no charges. There were no allegations. No. There was no. just suspicious betting. Yeah. So that's something that in the modern era is going to get a lot more amplified light on it than yeah. back in the day. Back in the day, it's going to be. 
ridiculously suspicious betting Arizona State, you know. Okay, right. Uh, from okay. the 9 Yeah, yeah. Uh, or something raising big red flags only here in Nevada. Okay. You know. Right. With bookmakers right. here in Nevada. Yep. That's the all. That was the only thing standing between a fix uh, in, in every game or any game was the bookmakers here in this one state. Um, so now there's certainly more amplification to that. The Otani thing is all because gambling is illegal in California. If gambling is legal in California, none of this happens. None of it, okay? Because what happens? You bet on credit with a bookie. Again, I don't know if the guy's story is true or not. This one I read yeah, off of. We'll yeah, we'll find but, out. Yeah, we'll, but he's we'll, saying, yeah, we don't know. Hey, no I got knows. into trouble. I was betting soccer. I was betting NFL. Yep. I was betting NBA. I got into trouble. I doubled up. I tripled up. I did that. I have that story. Yeah. yeah. Uh, lots yeah. of guys yeah. have that story. Yeah, for sure. But it yeah. can only happen with a bookie when you're betting on credit. It can't happen when you need to take cash out of your pocket and, and go to the casino yep. or better it in the app. I mean, it can't, you know. So... That's, in my mind, a story that's very positive for gambling. Okay. Because it's all about this is what happens when you have illegal bookies. Okay. This is what happens when the money's going not where it should be and people aren't watching it. Um, I don't know if that's real or not, but certainly the fact that gambling is legal now, it's a huge story. And bigger staff getting the calls. All right. That's something. Or, or threats. The I threats. think there's more people in arenas that are betting that haven't been betters before. Yes. And they're yelling stuff yes. and saying stuff Absolutely. so publicly. And, and the, these players and coaches have more public access with social media so they get to people. And you can find anyone anywhere pretty much nowadays with different means as far as getting their phone number, getting their ability to get texts, right? Like. We've heard all of this crap in sports books here in town for 20 sure. years, right? Now they're hearing it at the game. And now they're hearing it at the game. Like, th that's that's how I equate it. Because if if they heard what has been being said about them in Las Vegas sports books 10, 15, 20 years ago, they wouldn't have legalized it anywhere else. Yeah, maybe. But I also think that fans are always yelling at coaches and always doing things. And the coach just said something that got headlines because a fan yelling at a coach is nothing. A fan who is yelling gambling stuff at a coach, that's a story. And that's the that's the 100% of the, of, of the key here is that what's happening right now, gambling stories are getting clicks. Okay. Big time. They get, people are interested in reading about gambling stories. So... When you have a story that gets clicks, so the answer is it's always been get, it's always been here. Of course, we're just paying attention. This the, me the media now is just paying attention to it, which is which is what I said about the Temple story because I thought I said until someone gets arrested, this is a whole lot of allegations against college kids. It's not really all that fair. Somebody needs to show me that a kid was on the take, and then I'll go okay. The betting history doesn't tell me anything besides it got picked up by betters and they were gambling a certain way. So I was in Ann Arbor when the Fab Five were going. Okay. Down. And then when everything How happened. How much fun was that? Oh, my God. The, the, yeah, imagine, jeez. So oh. my senior year is, is the year that they're all freshmen. Oh, oh wow. wow. So you had one year. My sophomore year, is, I'm, I'm still, I still lived in town for four. That's how I got into this stupid business. I was living <laughs> in town afterwards, and then I was working at a sports bar. Yeah. Uh, you know, and I worked at a sports bar, and there were guys betting, and next thing you know, I'm betting, and the Look rest is that. history. Right. So after the Fab Five, there were all, you know, there were court cases and these guys got paid and suitcases of money. So I worked at a, a bar on campus that these guys would come to. Oh, okay. None of them had no money. Okay. Right. Yeah. So right. this whole like, oh, they were going to you know after the tournament, yeah. I think uh, after the second year. They got something. They might have gotten something. But, but again, the allegations fly, and oh, they're all dirty. And I'm like, no, I know Juwan. Juwan's freaking awesome. He's a good human being. Right. Chris Weber's a good guy. Jalen's the funniest guy you ever met. Ooh. These guys would hang out. You know, they would nice. hang out at the bar, and they they were they were broke. All right. Right. They were broke college kids. Hey, you can you can help me? Can you give me a dozen wings? No problem. Come on in and hang out. Wow. Right. You know, yeah. that's where we're at. So. Allegations to me don't mean all that much. I'm you know? with you. No, I, I thought it was really sad. I, I thought it was unfortunate that we were just chucking these kids under the bus and just, you know, uh, luckily, gladly, 
the allegations haven't gone anywhere. It's just been a, so far. a report and they've gone anywhere. <laughs> right. And if someone gets perp walked, okay, I, and I'll say I was wrong and say, okay, but until I, I need evidence that we're going to ruin a kid's life, I, I want to know what actually is, has, was going on. Well, the Iowa thing was ridiculous. Yeah. Like we, what we, they did with the Iowa They ruined kids', kids they, lives. And they just, they, they, kids lost eligibility. They People made up got, geotargets. They put stuff on records. I mean, that was bad. That, that, that was no good. Yeah, it sucked. Teddy, what's the plan for the weekend? What are you, what are you doing what, for a local Vegas guy experience? What are you doing for the weekend? So Thursday, Friday, well, I went out. There this weekend, tomorrow, I'm not, not by home. Amen I, to that. I hope it. I don't leave the house. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Uh, Amen. Love it. Maybe I will. Yeah, do uh, you right. like the second weekend? Next weekend. Not I now. love it. Yeah, sure. Uh, I, I like next weekend a lot. It's a little cha- less chaotic and crazy. It's way less chaotic. It's more I mean, this fun. It's nuts. There's you a whole, it's, you I watch mean, it's, the games more. And, but, again, next weekend, you're talking about, what do we got, four games that's Thursday, it. four Friday, two four, Saturday. Yeah, four, two, four, two, two. two. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. it. So, yeah. over the course of the weekends, there's less games than there is today. Way more. So, yeah. from a betting standpoint, you don't always find that much. Fair. Fair. Sometimes right. you do, sometimes you don't. Got to un- uncover the nuggets, right? Yep. Give people your info. Where can they watch your stuff, follow your stuff? Me? Yeah, yeah you. right oh. here. Promo. Oh, promo. You promo, hey guys, promo. Teddy right Covers there. from wagertalk.com. Uh, you can uh, visit the website. and yeah. uh, Plug it all. Yes. Plug, oh yeah. Plug yeah. it all. Promo code. There you Teddy, go. Teddy7 at checkout will get you 30 bucks off a, a seven-day all-access pass. If you're interested, I would say don't buy a play. Buy a package of seven-day all-access again. Teddy7 at check. I'll get you 30 bucks off. Follow me on Twitter at Teddy underscore covers. Look at that. There it is. Thank you for the time. He's a pro. Thank you, sir. Hey, man, I'm going to have some of them wings. Yeah, yeah, take a a plate. Grab a plate. We've got plates. We've got more coming. Take that headset off, set it right on that table. Yeah, I'm going to smash it. And then, <laughs> no, and then watch that cord. Yeah, when you get Metcalf's out. Metcalf's coming on right Whoa, now beauty. after. Oh, yeah, yeah. One Mr. So, Teddy yeah. Cover joining Thank us here on the sure. Boston Universe. Thanks yeah. for having me, guys. Uh, Texas A&M is up 53-39 to 39 on Nebraska, so they are uh, doing what I thought they would do to the Huskers, which is uh, take care of business. It is a 10-point lead for Duke, 28-18 to 18 over Vermont. At the top of the hour, in about 12 minutes, Grambling and Purdue will get started. Uh, then after that, we have Charleston at Alabama. That number is eight and a half now for that. You got Houston laying 23 and a half. I'm on the first half laying 15 on that. Uh, TCU, excuse me, TCU and Utah State. Then we got the Grand Canyon St. Mary's game uh, to round it all out. So uh, only two games in action at the moment. This is that lull period of the night where it's only a couple of games that get you into the evening sessions. Correct. So this is a little bit of a slower This is time. when we would take a break in the book and oh. we would hustle everybody's meal. Ah. Get your lunch in, get your lunch in, like do this, do that, like everybody, because Friday night in Vegas is different than Thursday night. 100%. The Friday session yeah. is way different. Well, there's so many more people here right now. You can see it, I right? Mean, like you, you just drive it in. Book drive it in. You see it. There's well, so many more chaos. people. I don't want to be that guy that just complains about the traffic, but today Oh, sucked. no. There's traffic everywhere. There was I mean, traffic yeah, yeah. everywhere. Yeah. And it's, yeah. it's more busy. There's a buzz. You can feel it when you're in. When you walk into a property, you're like, what's going on? The, the, I mean, there was a big line yesterday at the book. There's a monster line today at the book for people to get in. Every seat is filled at the doghouse where we were last time yes. to do everything else. Here, he, he, right here is all filled up for that. Perfect. So it's 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 a good stuff uh, going on at the moment. All right. He is the one and he is the only. Matthew Metcalf joining us here on the Bostonian versus the book. What is up, my friend? How are you? How are you guys doing? Where should I identify you? Because you're working for like a thousand companies now. <laughs> so, so, so like, wh- how do I ID Matt Metcalf? I work for a company called Mojo, okay. which is a pricing provider, like a B2B provider, where we're trying to just make pricing on same game parlay and on player props a little better. Mm. Um, we're really going to like hone in on incorporating like the market and bet flow, which is something that I don't think is being done properly. Okay. Um, you know, at Circa, we had we had a way of bookmaking where we really utilized players' information in terms of their bets, and I think that you know that hasn't been done well enough. I think in the prop market and the same game parlay market. Really hasn't so. been done at all. I think so. I mean, I, I don't mean, want to speak out of turn, right, but yeah, but yeah. it's. I mean, when you see what's going on with the pricing, we can say it. We, I mean, we both have done it. We can talk about it. But I know you love it. What about that hat? Where'd you? Where, I mean, did you break that one out today? No, like, I, wear, I wear this like every day to the gym. Do you? Yeah, I, I watch a little of the game like the last few minutes. So, yeah. bummer. 
I mean, I, I had already written them off when they were down 10, so. It was, oh, it was okay, like, so it's it emotional, like a free roll right, there. yeah, exactly. I, I don't know, yeah. I, like, I love the Gators, but, like, I stopped, like, living and dying with every, uh, every, every win. Try to tell like, people yeah. that all the time. You become numb to <laughs> it when you're in thing. the business, right? I, exactly. You just become, it, I say it beats it out of you. It beats it out of you, it, and you lose that, like, that enthusiasm for sports a little bit or the fun part of it for a little while, it, it eats a part of your soul, does I, it I not? agree. Like, sitting in there, and the Gators, I think, uh, tied it up with the three at the end there <laughs> to make it 100-100, yeah. and the whole place goes crazy. And I'm rooting for the Gators, and I'm just kind of like, nice. <laughs> like, but, it, but it, like, <laughs> at the same that time. That was an it, honest reaction. <laughs> yeah. Uh, nice. nice. <laughs> yeah. So. Walk on. Uh, Can I ask you a way off topic question? Yeah. Do you still bet NASCAR? I haven't bet NASCAR since I since I took the job at Circa in 2018. So. What? Because I've heard you did a lot of work back in the day betting NASCAR. Is this true? Yeah, NASCAR was the first thing that allowed me to kind of stop uh, stop concentrating as much as working behind the counter and kind of move out to betting on my own. So, how yeah. what attracted you to the NASCAR market? Was it the, the sport itself, or that people weren't betting it and the lines were soft and it was you could take advantage of it? I, the thing that attracted me was the ability to make money betting on it. Honestly, I, I had never, I'm from Florida, but I had never watched a NASCAR race in my life. Wow. Um, had, I think I had my arm twisted to go to a race one time, and I was like, <laughs> I will never, I was like, I will never watch this again. Like, right. Paid, right. There's, there's not enough bush lights in the world to drink. There goes to all the NASCAR sponsorships. We're out. That's well, no, no, well, but, I but, agree with you 100%. It, it won me though. over. I'm, I'm like a huge NASCAR fan. I watch the races recreationally now, like just for fun. Do you so, really? Yeah. Like it, it got me. Like I, at first I just bet it, and then, but like you have to be, like, like anything you bet, I think you have to become, or, or you become better for being immersed in that world. And right. So right. you catch yourself, and you know if you can squeeze a little information out of watching the interviews after practice, you're gonna start watching them, and then naturally you develop opinions on which drivers you kind of like, which drivers you kind of root against. I mean, obviously we have you have bets that that aren't really paying attention to who you're rooting for, kind of from a <laughs> sentimental standpoint. Right. But I think just naturally the sport drew me in. I it was a it was a much more entertaining sport i think 15 20 years ago Interesting. Way more. yeah they, they changed the cars in yes. like probably like 2007 in the name of safety which yep. was which was needed but it just made it harder to pass and i think that like, nascar's been ca playing catch up for a long time trying to make the sport more exciting but really they need to offer more kind of just like adjustability to the to the crew chiefs in order to like adjust the cars uh. in a way that can have some differences and so the cars are so uniform now it's almost like watching f1 it has gotten better the past couple of years i will say that does the way they do they added stage racing, trying to make it yeah. more entertaining. It also gave different markets to bet, different prop markets to get into. Have they done enough to attract the casual gambler in your mind, or does NASCAR do more to bring people in? I don't know that they've ever really focused on – I'll say it. They, they were good 20 years ago on focusing on the core audience. They yeah. paid attention to them. Yep. And I think where they got away from themselves was they tried to bring – like recreational or average casual people in. Absolutely. And I think that was a mistake because they stopped paying attention to what their core audience wanted. And it kind of got away from in the point. Now they're kind of chasing everybody and, you know, trying to get these core people that they had 15 years ago they don't have anymore. So, I don't know. They're, they seem to be on their way. They're making some good moves. I, I really think that in the past three years they've, they've, made a, they've made some efforts that have kind of made things more interesting. I knew things were getting bad when, like, pit stops became so important because when I was racing – not when I was racing. When I was betting <laughs> racing. Right. It yes. feels like you're racing. You're right. Right, right, right. When I was watching the races, you know, we would handicap mostly speed on the track, but it got to the point where it was just so hard to pass that the guys who were having success betting, I think, are paying more attention more to the pit stops. Right. That's where, you know, that's where a majority of the passing takes place now. So, right. Yeah, it's very right. interesting. Um, so, a question as you proceed in your new endeavor, yeah. and I've sat in on these meetings as well, does – betting bring in the casual because i keep saying to people that it does not just because you offer odds on it doesn't mean you're going to bring in the casual i think the core is more interested in getting betting options than the casual i i agree with you i think i think it's a function of creating a creating a sport that's entertaining and captivating that brings fans in and then those fans in turn will want a little more action on the game and bet. I don't think just offering betting options to somebody who's never paid attention to NASCAR is necessarily going to draw them in. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, no matter it, how good the prices are. Yeah, unless you're just targeting a, a you know a degenerate type uh, compulsive right. gambler, right. and you're right. like, hey, you can bet on this sport. You know, nothing right. else is going on, which doesn't really seem like that's what they're after. So, yeah, it doesn't seem like. Yeah, I, I agree with you. Make the sport more exciting. 
grow the base, and then that base will in turn look for ways to And bet. give yeah. you, me, somebody who lives and breathes the numbers and wants to create a better product, a product that we can create numbers for, right? right. Create markets right. for and bring them in. Right. And we'll give you a bigger menu. We'll give right. you fair pricing, right? Because right. I don't know if the industry is doing that. Like you look at the prop prices now, like they're getting the spread, they're, they're getting in, you almost unbettable both sides. 25 cents. What, lines. you're saying from a big standpoint? Or like yeah. From a big standpoint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's a lot what we're trying to solve. I mean, right. we're trying to make these markets more competitive. And my dream is to basically apply what we did at Circus Sports, you know, pushing limits up where we can and creating liquidity to the prop markets. Because I think there's enough interest now that, yeah. you know, people are paying attention to these markets. They're not, they're like, they're still a little niche, but not really. They're kind of hitting the mainstream. The, the casual average gambler wants to bet on his favorite player, you know, to score more than X amount of points, like, you know, over on assists. They want to bet these things. So I think the opportunity exists for people who participate in the market, you know, like myself and, you know, maybe other professional sports bettors to like have something where we can have true liquidity. Um, and that's setting aside a lot of obviously like, you know, the, the player integrity issues. But I think in the professionals' ranks, I mean, we have the opportunity to really have some some decent limits on these things. Is it a fallacy? Because whenever I do, uh, I don't like doing player props, right? But the audience wants them. So, like, once a week, I'll do player props. And people right. freak out over them. They're like, oh, what? I don't understand why people love it so much. Is it easier to actually hit props in your mind or on straight games? Because I'm, I'm a straight game gambler. I don't bet the props all that often, but the audience is clearly attracted to betting individual player props. I mean, if you're paying attention to the efficiency of markets, you would think the, the lower the lower the limits and the more kind of niche bets, the bigger opportunity you have to win. So I think there's something there. I okay. think the books make pricing mistakes more often on player props. Okay. Um, when you're when you're dealing with big markets, you know, professional sports, it's, it's very rare that a book doesn't open somewhere in the ballpark. So I think people like the idea of, you know, these are smaller markets. The books don't have as much time to pay attention to. There's more opportunity to win. Um, but also, I think people just like to enjoy, like, rooting for individual players. It's, player. it's kind of a sweat to, to, you know, have, like, ten different bets going with all these props that you need. And, you know, obviously the same game parlay is a, is a product that people love. Yeah. And I get it. They want to root for, you know, good things to happen with, with like, they want to bet an overall idea. Okay, you know, Mahomes is going to throw X amount of yards and, you know, his receivers are all going to have 80 yards apiece. And, you know, they, they want to bet <laughs> a narrative. And I think it, it offers a good opportunity to do so. How, where are you on college player props? Are you okay with them being legalized? Or are you worried about them with with college sports? Yeah, because yeah, some states are pulling that back. I, like it's it, it, that's the concession from the books. All right, you guys can take that. We don't do, we won't do it. Right. I mean, I I don't think those markets are extremely liquid until you get to like conference tournaments or right. you know NCAA tournament for for basketball. That is um, football. I think college football week to week. There's there's markets that that you know get a decent bet into them. I I'm just always of the camp that anytime you don't allow wagering for something like in the public eye in a regulated environment, you're forcing it to the underground. And so I, I don't really see what taking it off the board is doing or not offering it because somewhere somebody is going to fill that need if there's, you know, if there's money that wants to be placed on it. So, you know, either either dealing it in the regulated market where we can keep an eye on it or you're dealing it in the black market where nobody knows what's going on. So it's almost five o'clock and I know you gotta go. <laughs> so we can keep you I'm gonna ask you one more question. Yeah. With this mojo yeah. thing you got going on the challenges for the book i've told people this why don't books offer more we don't have the manpower right that is really the reason it's not because we're scared if you guys would want to bet on it and we have enough eyes on it we'll put it up and watch it and manage it correctly that's what i tell people the challenge for the books up more often than not manpower i i would agree yes technology I mean is an issue, yeah, right? Yeah, both, both. I think it's a combination. I think yeah. what we experience at Circa, you know, we built, to me, we built a thriving business on the core markets. And I think the hope was that we could scale this up to a point where recreational bettors were able to interact and we had a menu to satisfy them. And I think we're headed that direction. But in my mind, I wanted to kind of be involved in that process of creating this product because I think it's so essential to a lot of books like Circa, like Westgate, um, and really any book that wants to compete with the but big books. But you have to want to compete. To yeah. get involved with it. And, and we do. Right, exactly. Yeah. But yes. I don't want to, I don't want to like. The book does, I mean. I don't want to cede to DraftKings' idea of, or FanDuel's idea of what these markets can be. And I'm not slandering them. Right. I'm just saying that I think at some point they're saying these markets can only be so big. Like we can only take so much on these player prop markets. I think we can treat these markets similarly to 
you know, the, the core markets if there's liquidity in there and demand. If, if we have more money being bet back and forth on LeBron's points in a playoff game, I see no reason why we couldn't take more on that prop than we could on the side. You know, let the action dictate what we take the biggest limits on. That, that that's, scares that's, a lot of people. Man. I, I'm sure it does, but, <laughs> you know, but like not someone who's in the business and wants volume is the business. Right, and, and as bookmakers, we're always going to be looking out for number one. We're not going to sit here and have a prop on the board where we feel there's suspicious action and we're taking bad right. bets. We're going to move the number. We're going to, you know, if we have a thought that, you know, there's something impropri- or there's some kind of impropriety happening, we're A, going to report that to the gaming officials, and we're also going to, like, drop that limit until we understand what's going on. We're, we're not just going to sit there and Give you way get back. our heads kicked in. Right, yeah, exactly. so, yeah. yeah. Well, that's, well, thank you. The chat's going crazy. This they is love an it. unbelievable, That's what I've been saying. unbelievable it's, it's conversation. Great. Thank you. He gets it. For folks who can follow you, keep track of you, where can they get in touch? How can they follow what you're up to? Uh, yeah, at uh, Double Impact on Twitter. Um, yeah, my, my goal is to basically build a product that allows my version of sports betting to scale up and rise up across the country and allow professional bettors of all skill levels, or bettors of all skill levels, I guess, not just professionals, to, to play as little or as much as they want to and have a product that's transparent and fair. And I think the product we're working on at Mojo is going to allow mm. books all around the country to really step up and treat their customers fairly. So, yeah. Best of luck. Thank Absolutely you for great. coming on. We really appreciate it. Great seeing you. Me. Thanks so much. Cool. Matthew, Excellent. Guys. Thank you. Matthew, Matthew Metcalf. Metcalf here joining us on the Boston University of the Book. Always Set great to get right him there. on from Perfect. Mojo. Excellent. I'm a big Creighton. You're a Creighton person? Thanks, brother. How are you? I'll talk to you later. I'll are you really? Roster, wow. You. What year? I will. All right. All right. Do you want to come see talk? Do you want to good, good see you, sir? Good see you. Do you want to come talk? Come on in. We got what do we have here? We got Creighton people. Creighton people? Cr- Creighton people. No way. Yeah. Do you uh, know these people? I don't know who they are. Oh, no. I, 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 this I, is a setup. I, I have absolutely no idea who he is. I, I have oh, no clue. This, this I, is great. I, 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 she, she was just looking right at the board. Chair. Eric to start. Headphones Eric on. We're on live. Eric started talk, to, to, yeah. right, talking. All right, perfect. This is tremendous. Just, just flip, oh, flip that, it. flip that headphone. Uh, there we go. Now Gotta you be smarter than that headphone, man. And, and, and then go ahead and, and roll, rise it up. up. There you go. So we awesome. Can hear you. What is your name? Heather Ringelman. Where are you from, Heather? I'm from Denver, Colorado. Wow. And your daughter goes to Creighton. She goes to Creighton. She's a junior, and then my son is a senior at Kansas. Oh. So these are my two big teams this year, man. Wow. Yeah. All right. So tomorrow the Jays play Oregon. Yeah. Do you know how big of a game that's going to be? No idea. Okay. <laughs> That's good to know. Okay. Because, yes, it's oh, a huge it's game. It's a huge game. Huge, huge game. Because Dana Altman is the coach of Oregon. Okay. Dana Altman was the coach of Creighton for about 20 years. Oh. So Dana built the program that Greg McDermott inherited. Nice. So this is a very this is a big deal. This is a big so, deal. So, well, what – do you what do you see the outcome being yourself? I'm really scared he's that torn. Oregon's going to win. <laughs> I'm really scared that Oregon's going to win. Yeah, he's very. Right. Yeah, he's. He, he's I want Creighton to win. This. I yeah. want Creighton to win. As do I. Yeah. But I'm very scared of Dan yeah. Altman. He's like a like a, like a, a very large figure in the world of for, for me and for Creighton people. Yeah. Dana. Are the kids into the basketball? Yeah. Yeah. Are yeah. they into the other sports at those schools? Uh, at those no. schools, well, there's only really like soccer and hockey at Creighton. <laughs> okay. So you got you, you, no you're pretty limited. There's no football there. <laughs> there's no right? hockey either. There's no hockey at Creighton. That's oh, no, there's no there's hockey. No they, hockey. They, they're going somewhere else. We did go to a, a, do a soccer. Oh, there you go. Oh, soccer's okay. huge. Yeah. I don't know. Soccer's she told me she was going to hockey. Soccer's game, unbelievable. So I don't know where All right. UNO she went to. Nebraska Omaha. Nebraska oh, Omaha. Yeah. Yeah. I spent five years in Omaha, so I I know. So you're from Creighton. Nope, I am from he Boston. Lived there, but I lived there. I was worked the, there. I was the pre and post game show host for Creighton basketball, and I was afternoon drive for five years in Beautiful. Omaha. Beautiful. So I know that I know the area really well. Did you really? Oh my gosh, is he on screen? What, what is your name, sir? Ty Bartels. Ty, how are you? you lean in, right. lean in lower. <laughs> lean so you can <laughs> right in the microphone. There you go. Sit right there. Oh. Perfect. Right there. That's Ty Bartels. Right there. Okay. I, I awesome. The okay. Did, All right. Did, put, did, it did, 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 put, put him on. Okay. All right. Switch seats so he can sit down. So then we, 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 we can talk yeah. to him. Be careful on that. Perfect. So you guys are from Denver. Yeah, we live there now. And you're from where? I'm from uh, Manhattan Beach, California. Wow. Okay. You've lived in Chicago, Boston, Denver, LA. Yeah. Yep. Wow. Military. You like Denver? <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Although Chicago, you, Chicago's my favorite city. Oh, uh, is it really? Oh, we got yeah. a ton of people watching. I'm, from I'm Chicago going there in two right weeks. Now, yeah, I'm going to I'm Chicago. Going to Chicago. Chicago. Two, weeks. two weeks. Yeah. Boston is a. I mean, sports. Forget yes, about it. Forget yeah. about it. <laughs> forget about it. That's are you New York? Are you a basketball guy? Uh, 
And I, I, nuggets? I played water polo in, in school. So. Okay. Oh, yeah, all right. But, all right. No, but uh, I was good. To, I went to Long Beach State, so glad to see them. And yes, got short, the, it was short a short. It was a short. short it was a good time. run. It was last in one game. Hey, so that's fine. Is go, this go trip, Niners. Why are you guys in town? Uh, I came in for a conference okay. and uh, visited my office in Phoenix. Came in for a conference here, nice. and then um, she came out just relax. Of course. Oh, that's great. Yeah. That's Every great. year, the weather here a week ago, the weather was awful. And now the weather is gorgeous. This is Chamber of Commerce week for people like well, you. Well, tomorrow's going to be crap. I heard tomorrow's going to be windy and maybe some rain. So. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's coming. Yeah, it's coming. That's too bad. We got yeah. two days nice. Thank God for nice casinos. Nice, yeah. Thursday, right. Friday. Something to do, right? Yeah. <laughs> is there an outside? Right. I don't know. I, like when you guys come, do you just is it inside casinos, gambling, and just hanging out? Uh, today pool day. I mean, okay, yeah. got outside. Good. That's yeah. Good, yeah, I'm not in the gambling mode this trip, but okay. Uh, okay. But I'm coming back in April, so yeah. There you go. So what is on the docket for you guys? What is what is the plan besides conferences? Uh, ran into you guys. <laughs> <laughs> hey, are you gonna finish those pretzel bites? Or? <laughs> no, you can have some. Yeah, take some. Yeah, there's okay, wings over there. You yeah, have, food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, no. But well, I appreciate you guys. Well, this is really fun. Well, thank you for stopping on by. The, oh, show, man, the show is called The Bostonian versus made the, our trip. Yeah. Thanks, boys. Yeah. The show is called The Bostonian versus the Book. I'm the Bostonian. He's the book. He's a 20-year bookmaker. I've been in media for 20 years. So we started doing stuff here in Vegas. And so we started a show called BVB, which is the little girl up there. Yeah. And so you're this will replay tonight on Sirius XM and on Sports Grid Television. Nationally. Nation, oh, yeah. Nationally. Yeah. So you guys can watch yeah. it. And we're subscribers. Sirius so XM. Watch it. There go. you go. All right. Love it. Perfect. Channel 159 tonight. on the radio you guys, and, and then on TV, here. wherever you're at, you yeah. can find it. Sportsgrid.com. Sportsgrid.com. We'll have I can tell you guys, yeah. you guys stay out of trouble. After <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We'll be good. good to be here. Perfect. Just set that right there on the table. Thank you guys. Enjoy. Have fun, guys. That was fun. So appreciate that. Look at that. So you know, yeah, oh, yes, that's a, awesome. hell of a, it's a, it's a hell of a roll call, right? I mean, Creighton in Kansas, the yes. kids are at. That's incredible. They, mo- they both may be out after tomorrow. I would agree. It's very possible. Yeah, it's really scary. That parlay would pay. Uh, I'm so, the Zags I'm are so four and a half point favorites. The, ga- the Zags are winning. The KU's losing. I faded. That, I, felt, I, that felt like the Super Bowl a little bit, like where people were kind of checking us out because of the banner and all this other stuff. And right. they're like, hey, what are those guys doing? Yeah. And right. Eric sold them. Yeah. Like, you know, we, <laughs> we get E at, at, at our next uh, on site location. He said he'll great. Be, and he was like, he's he'll a great be, guy. He'll be booking people all the time, like walking around. That'd so, be great. how are we doing Roll Call Friday? How, how are we going to pull this off? Because we've been on the air now for what? Uh, an hour? An hour. So. I don't know. We we oh no hour oh eight. Sorry, we, we now only one oh eight. We have thirty minutes left. This is when we start talking about roll call Friday. I, I I don't know if we can do a traditional roll call Friday today. I don't think. I, we, I mean, I we, don't know. I mean, we can put we can ask for the area codes, but um, we had Roger Long on. Already. We did talk talk to him. Roger was great. He by was the phenomenal. Way. Roger was, was great. Was, that was a great was clip. Cool. Went out. Um, Whitrock says Creighton kills him tomorrow. Creighton kills him. If Creighton kills Oregon tomorrow, you know how happy I'm going to be. By the way, 58-44, speaking of killing, A&M is destroying Nebraska. For everybody, look, I may be dead wrong. Nebraska may have an unbelievable come. The way my tournament betting has been going the last six weeks, they, like, they'll blow this, and, and it'll be ridiculous. But you can't bet on Nebraska in the NCAA tournament. They're 0-7. So what? No, you can't. It doesn't matter. It does. It doesn't. I've been watching Nebraska basketball up close and personal for a very long time. Okay? Oh. Don't bet on red. You'll go dead. Can't do it. Wow. Okay, can't do it. Can't bet Nebraska in the tournament. Nice. Can't bet Nebraska in the tournament. Okay, just can't do it. It was just a straight play of I'm taking it. I bet plus 14 and a half on Coach Lutz today. I thought we had it. Man, I, oh, man. I hedged at halftime. I took him plus 11 in the second half to hedge on my future. I was like, oh, my God, he might actually do it. They may knock out Marquette because Tyler Kolick doesn't look great. He was all over the place. Team had to work their way back into it. And then, oh, my God, what? Marquette did in the second half. They play like that. They're playing in Arizona. That was unbelievable. Oh, I was so excited. I was watching a game like I've known Coach Lutz my whole life. I was like, <laughs> come on. This was great. That was a great run in the first half. They got hot, made all those shots. And I was like, keep chucking it, boys. Like, keep chucking it. In the second half, got they scared. started driving. Yep. They started holding the ball deep in the shot clock. And I was like, this – this well, the defense good. also, the intensity picked oh, up big time. Oh, and Marquette, time. listen. Yeah, Marquette they, looked like a team that can go to the Final Four. Wow, A&M is laying 11 and a half live right now. Woo. Hello. Hello. Uh, what do you do with Duke? Duke is laying 10 and a half. They are currently at the break. It's 34-29. Duke's up five on Vermont. Laying 10 and a half in the game. 
extend repeat of extend. repeat of Marquette and yeah, West, uh, I love Western. betting on a better team um, at halftime or right at the beginning of the third when you get them a l- lower price. I don't know if I want to lay more. Yeah, would that game close? Uh, Duke. fourteen, I think, right? 14, 13, some of the It was up to 13 at one yeah. point, yeah. 13 or so? Oh, yeah. look at the chat on the screen. Look at that. Yeah. That's tremendous. Look at that, E! That's tremendous. He's producing the show. That's tremendous. Eric is producing the hell out of the show. That I was, love it. That's very cool. Um, Addison's really feeling it. You see that? No. Addison, yeah, he's, he's been uh, he's been partaking. Oh, actually. good. Yeah, he. Said he's eating, so eating, gone. eating edibles. Gone, gone, gone. gone eating gone, or, gone. or Addison, others. Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. Uh, Addison, Charleston's up twelve ten on Alabama. You can get them at plus six and a half at the moment, or the tide down to lay in six and a half. I think Charleston's going to beat Alabama. I didn't bet outright. It, but, yeah, I, I think Bama's dead. I, I think that they don't want to play anymore. Something happened to that team halfway into the year. Uh, I mean, look, Florida's gone. Alabama, I think, will be gone. Uh, I, the, the SEC, I was dead wrong. I, I really had high hopes for the SEC in this tournament. And maybe Texas A&M is that team that makes a run, but they win Al- a game. Auburn's I mean, gone. They win a game. That's yeah. Auburn's Auburn. gone. Florida's gone. Kentucky's Bad, gone. Kentucky's gone. Thanks for coming. I mean, it's the Mountain West and, and the SEC. They are not good showing. Which which conference will be more embarrassed at the end of this? Because right now, I would lean a little bit towards the SEC, but higher seeds. Higher seeds. Yeah. Right. Yep. Yeah. They'll be more embarrassed, I yeah. think. But, I mean, you know, we, we've seen 13s and 11s. I mean, the committee did a good job. The 11 seeds and 13 seeds are, you know, not afraid and going in there and swinging away and taking down the fours, taking down the sixes. I think we're down to one six seeds left in this tournament. <laughs> so, I mean, it's it's remarkable. But Filling out brackets is fun, boys and girls, isn't it? Well, I mean, that's part of the madness of it all. But Is I think, it? Yeah, but I think getting what, aggravated and but here's the thing, bracket though, busted. I still think we're going to wind up with ones and twos at the end. Ones and the twos are looking like I, I mean, eh, I, pretty I, I, good I, now. I, I think that there's a lot of parity outside the top ten or top five in the country, but – after that, I think the elite teams in, in college basketball are just absolutely ridiculously elite, and it's 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 showing in this tournament at least on this. TCU Utah State tonight. What do you think? I think TCU is going to kill them. Kill them? I, we're it's just, just an to, auto play we against just, the we Mountain ju- West. We just talked about this. The Mountain West Conference was overrated. The, the Mountain West. Con- they, we talked about this. Which is better, getting three seeds, where you're going to have opportunities to do big things, or six seeds, where you have you know some bad matchups. And right now, the six seeds, it sucks because they could be gone. The whole conference can be out. They want San Diego State won a game. That's the only team for the Mount West Conference so far that's won a game. If we see a loss here tonight by Utah State, they'll have one team left. They'll go from six to one. Give him your name. I mean, I mean, it's just oh, Francisco. Yeah, bring him on. Yeah. So I mean, we that's gotta... that's part of the problem. So I mean, I I would lay the three and a half with TCU tonight. I, I think just look, history. You got his name, me. All right, perfect. I think history would tell you that that's, wow, five-point lead for Charleston now with 14 to play in the first half. Excellent. So here I we want go. to do a uh, – we'll do a brigade, I think, uh, first to 15. Oh, look at that. Ride. Look, the mountain mountain worst. worst. Look the at that. The mountain worst. That's tremendous. <laughs> that's great. Wow. Watch that court. That's tremendous. There you go. That's awesome. There's our yeah. guy. So we can get down with one team. Now, the Big East, Marquette, UConn, Creighton. Three Pretty teams. Good. Three teams in. Nice higher success seeds. so far. So far. Yeah. Looking like they're going to wind up playing, you know, maybe all three move on to the to the next to the Sweet 16. We'll see. I think the Jays are the most vulnerable right now of the three. Be stunned if you if UConn even gets tested in the next game. But um, I don't know. It's you know three three strongly seated teams versus six lower seated teams. It's great to play the game. You, you get the one you know the one share, but ouch. Chad thinks you're a wizard, Eric. They do love it. They, they do. We got to we got to introduce this guy. This, well, this is, is one of our guys uh, from. You guys know him. Hell yeah. From Escondito, <laughs> California. Every single week, it's Francisco Ochoa. Welcome Boys. to BBB. Welcome. Pull that down so it's a little closer to your mouth. A little mouth. closer to your there mouth. There it is. Go, right Perfect. There. We're good. So, I mean, yeah, we're good. Pull a little closer this way. There you go. Right there. Excellent. Awesome. There we are. What's going, up, guys? bro? I know, right? <laughs> Finally in person. <laughs> Finally on camera. <laughs> right? I know, right? I missed the last one. Well, uh, well, had a work emergency. And yeah. A little bit right here, too. But, but I'm here. 
you, all the time. you became famous in BBB <laughs> Brigade lore last weekend. The last, no, the the first, last summer. The first BBB weekend. Almost yeah. a year ago. <laughs> yeah, in a picture yes. of me and Sydney. Yes. And you were standing there kind of holding it down in that green and gold hat. That hat looks tremendous on you. It does. Yeah, you got you. the fit working. <laughs> it's all good. How's Vegas? Hey, it's fun. You know, sometimes <laughs> you got to have a little R&R, you know. Oh. Um, that's the one thing I'm always like. You know, work is work, and work will be there when you come back. Yes, but, you know, you got to enjoy yourself a little bit, you know. Love Relax. It. As a Dodger guy, how are you today? How are you, how are you feeling about what's going on with Otani? Uh, I just don't like that this is the story that's going into the season. I don't even know what's going to happen. I mean, it's kind of all up in the air right oh, now. Oh, nobody does. I think everybody, yeah. maybe Major League Baseball, we haven't talked about it, but Major League Baseball opened up an investigation into what happened today, official investigation into what happened today. And so Otani's going to have to sit down and have a conversation with Major League Baseball. And oh. if he is involved in a criminal complaint, he will have the chance to say, I'm not talking to you until the criminal complaint with the authorities gets taken care of. If that happens, most likely he is suspended until the criminal complaint is taken care of. Yeah, and I was hearing earlier, too, like I think – the biggest deal is that it happened in California. Yeah. There's, yeah. There's the sports gambling, it's not yeah. legal there. So that's why it's all. It's got, that's it's probably why he's keeping quiet, too, because he's like, it's, mm, don't, don't say a say word. Nothing. I mean, they've it. They've say all, nothing. They've already changed their story once. So that's the problem. Yeah. Is it? We thought it was going to be just a gambling scandal. Then it became a, quote, major theft. Which one is it? There's a lot of accusations. <laughs> <laughs> it's all which, hearsay right now. Though. Which that's one it. is it? Because it's two very <laughs> different stories, depending on where we are. So, But if, if Otani is not on your team, how do you feel about this season? To be honest, I like the guys that they have. I, I, I already liked yeah, it even before Otani. Yeah, even <laughs> yeah. before Otani. Yeah. Otani just threw it over the top. Yeah. I feel like they'll make the playoffs again. It's just, can we get, get over that hump? Like, that's just what it is. Other than that, you know, short in season, like, they just don't get over the hump and they end up losing to teams that maybe they shouldn't have lost to. Right. It's just been a lot of that. How wow. cool is this to come and meet Roger Long in person? Like, the chat's going crazy right now. Everybody that met you last <laughs> summer, Mikey Awesome, Addison's yeah, there. The Everybody's boys. going, all <laughs> the boys, right? Yeah. Like, this is, it's a, it's a cool thing. I can't, ex I tr keep trying to explain it to people but like we try to explain the show just <laughs> watch the show yeah. just come like just like this is a f it, you don't it's even have to bet right yeah you, you legitimately don't have to bet it's like, a community and that's what um that's why i always tell everybody like you're not just you know it's not just a show it's a community we go on the discord you'll like meet people that you never would have expected you had in common with like it's just cool interacting with everyone uh, Chef, Chef yeah. Benny says you better be ready for the BPS once again to, to, to go with the Brigade Proxy <laughs> We're in, Chef. You already know it. I'm coming back. To, Let's do it. To the Brigade Proxy Service we're close. once we were again. Close. Oh, you guys had a couple yeah. good weeks and a couple we good close. runs. And, yeah, I thought you were going to get a quarter, one of those quarter yeah. prizes. You were yeah, hot. I was telling, oh. Yeah, I was telling Gora, we, we were close. We like, oh. Yeah, we were really close. That's a, fun, so, that's a fun thing, though, isn't it? Like oh, you yeah. guys, Tell people what you guys did. You got five of you. Did you do one pick yourself? Yeah, so we do like one pick we, like that we felt very strongly about right. and then like debated others. Um, we would like say like, what do you guys think about it? Like if you're on the fence and then we start like going through our resources, like injury reports, what have you heard? Like I was telling him a bunch of stuff about Green Bay, <laughs> but you know, just things like that. Right, but that's, but that's the beauty, <laughs> what Dave and I said before, like when you do it with friends, or even people you just know, the talking out of the play gets you to a place where you feel either really strongly or not strongly about it because you're talking and as you're saying it you're like i can't bet that like i can't play that or you're like okay you're right i really like this play just because yeah. you you start to see things differently you start to get a, a more of like into a rhythm as to what yeah. you guys like to play yes when you guys were cold what happened because everyone goes through it <laughs> how do you guys handle that Cause that's hard when there's five guys and five opinions and things are going kind of sideways to be honest like the group that we had, we were just also cool about it. Nice. We were like very supportive. Good. And we're like, hey, you know what? We know you're on this cold streak, but just keep going. Like, Good. We're gonna keep That's trusting great. you. Like we weren't doubting their like right. anyone's plays. We just kept going. So Chef Benny says. Process. Chef Benny says that his AFC South pick sucked. Did he? Oh yeah, <laughs> Tennessee. Did he hurt you? <laughs> no, it was he funny hurt, because he hurt, like he when hurt he, the team. <laughs> <laughs> no, when he chose Tennessee. They wouldn't cover it. Then we would choose the opposite. <laughs> oh, and I was oh like, story dude, life life like, what is going on? Story it was crazy. Life. A wrong but it was all team. fun, though. Yeah, yeah oh. it was all fun. 
it's story definitely of my we're life. Do it again, and you know, we we got the experience, and we're gonna go keep going with it. I love it. That is awesome. I love it. That's awesome. Well, well, thanks again for coming. Really, no, thank I mean, you, thank you guys. Being, you know, you guys awesome. have really built something, and um, I know I'm not the first one to say, it, and I'm not gonna be the last. We're just appreciative of you guys. Oh, like, no, what you guys great. Doing, yeah, so. thank all the way around, my friend. Yeah. Thank you for being thank here. You. Really appreciate it. We'll come chat with you after the show's over. Thank you so much for being here. Good. Thank you. The headphones on the table lightly. Right on it. On that. That's awesome. Good stuff. Ochoa boys, Escondido, California. Live roll call. That is a live roll call for us here on BBB. Very very cool situation. I mean, if you guys can run the area codes right now, we can do it quick while P. Roll's checking the scores. Yeah, so we're in the you second know, we'll half. It's, it's now 64-51. A&M's up by 13 on Nebraska. You can lay the 11 and a half live. Uh, we're about to start with Duke and Vermont, the five-point lead for the Devils. Uh, Purdue's up 26-17, leading on Grambling. It's you know 20. who's in the chat today live? Who? Leighton Winston. Oh, Australia. From Australia, Australia. because nice. because our time yeah. has switched. Right. We're at a regular time right. for Leighton to watch the show. Right. Welcome. That's Late awesome. into the chat. Very That's cool. outstanding. Uh, Charleston up 19-13 on Alabama with 12-21 to play in the first half there. Bama not shooting well. Charleston gets up to a good start. I'm sure Covey's psyched about that uh, to see the COC, as they call them, out to a good start here uh, on that. He's probably so engrossed in that game. Yeah. Uh, Celtics are up 76-55 on the Pistons, Jeez. so they are annihilating Detroit on I the road. To, I tried to bring the mojo with the with the hat with the Pistons. <laughs> Didn't today. happen. Not working. Getting, Not working. Getting, I wore the Rangers jersey though. There you you go. see what happened? What about last night? You skipped that part of the rundown. What happened last night? It was a night? rundown, but it was a win. What for happened the, last night? Win for the Rangers. Who cares? Oh yeah, who cares? Well, hey, they don't, right. Do they still have the best record in hockey? Yes. Damn it. <laughs> yes. Damn it. I was hoping they didn't <laughs> after that loss. Yes. Uh, Thunder. Excuse me, up by 10 on the Raptors on the road, 70 to 60. Grizzlies are leading, oh, trailing the Spurs, 18 to 10. Uh, a game early. Cavs, Timberwolves early, 19 12. And Heat, Pelicans, 16 7. Uh, Pacers, Warriors tonight. There is an over versus an under. I will lean under 241 in that game tonight. Pacers and who? Warriors. Oh my God. Look who's walking up here. Oh my <laughs> God. Look at this. Did you tell them to show up? No, they don't tell me anything. Look at this. <laughs> this is tremendous. The two little consig and middle oh, consig that's are walking up on a roll call Friday. Oh my goodness! We can have him peek around. She looks distressed. Is she okay? I don't know. I have no <laughs> idea. I don't know. I, I'm seeing my kids for the first time today. This is great. This is great news. Wow. Um, Something tells me they were sent here for a reason. Probably check on us. <laughs> Go see what your dad's doing. We're gonna we'll stay and watch basketball with the boys. Poor Kendall. Gonna, Kendall's like, what's going She's on? He's like, oh, my God. <laughs> He's like, why am I here? Come over. He's like, why am I here? What's you going on? You can come on? over here and hang out, whatever you yeah. want. I'll let them go. Okay. All right. Um, we'll see. So, boys and girls, that was Matt, Francisco. Maddie's going to be very angry, by the way. I this. didn't know anything. I know. This, no, is, no. this, is, this is not good. I, 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 Madeline's going to be like, wait a minute. Wait, what the hell? Yeah. Kendall's there? Yeah. Why, why wasn't I there? I thought yeah. it was because I told her it was 21 plus. I know. I was like, sorry, you can't come. She's like, what do you mean you can't come? I was like, it's 21 plus. Yeah. Like, There's a betting kiosk right there. Yeah. And she was like, oh, fine. Yeah. So it's like circa. I was like, yeah, it's a 21 plus thing. She's like, we said we could pop them on the show. So they can they can run over here and come on. Oh, good. And All right. They can, well, let's get them on the show then. Yeah, they will. Yeah. Yeah. When uh, your guys are ready, you're on the show. Come on. Yeah. Come on over. Sit down. Yes. Come what? on. You came yeah, all the you way Yeah, you came all the way here? down. You're on the show. You came yes. all the way here. Come on. Not coming on the come show. Come here. Just come and sit down on the chair. You have to come yeah. on the show. You have My to come gosh. on the show. Both yeah. of you. What are yeah. you doing? Come on. Yeah. Absolutely. You both yeah. have to come on the show. It's not even a question. Yeah. Come on. Kendi Wemby is in the, is coming oh in. Oh my God! What a big surprise! This right is now. this is yeah. tremendous. It's a big surprise. Come over here. Come on in. They're like, right. why? Walk what are we doing here? Come Middle can sig and little can sig. Which one of you wants to go first? Uh, in, person, in person. In person. Live. Sit down in that chair. Throw the headphones on, Kendall. Put the headphone on. Little can oh sig God, in the flesh, on. not in the put chat, actually here. Put the microphone up close. It's right here. She's a oh, oh, hello. She's telling you, fire. This is Kendall. Out of the gate. Little can sig. Kendi Wendy. Out of I the literally gate. changed my name, dude. Oh, you did, dude? <laughs> yeah, I did. I didn't know. What is it? What is it? What wow. is it in the chat? Fire. You're a wrench. I haven't seen you in the chat. You've been at school all week. No, I changed my name on Monday. Two. 
Kendall. Oh, okay. oh it just says Kendall? So we're yep. back to being Kendall. Just okay. Kendall. Okay. okay. Good, All right. good guess, dude. <laughs> Coming in hot. This is no joke. 10-year-old Kendall. Woo. About going on 17. Sounds like okay. it. Okay. Have you watched any basketball? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> She's like, right. no. No. None. I'm Zero. too busy. All right. How was the drive down here? Is there a lot of traffic? It was a drive, I mean. But why are you here? Yeah. Did you because. Come? You just decided to come on down? It's very uh, nice of you. Awesome. Good support. I didn't decide to. What, you were dragged? It was, yeah. Against your will, you're here? Yep. Middle could see. Because of you. Because right. of, of you? Because of you? Cause, gonna, yep. Why because of him? Yep. Why? What did he do? He made me come. I didn't even know you were coming. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, buddy. I was going to get you out of school to be the, Eric's you assistant. Should've. I wanted you to sit next to Eric and write down all the guest names. Yeah, yeah. you should have. Uh-oh. I told you. You could have come. <laughs> Mama said no. Well. No. All you're right. my dad, right? <laughs> I mean. This is not funny. Stop laughing at her jokes. It's not funny. It's really not. Stop laughing at her jokes. She's, she's Do you want wings? We got wings. There's food right there. There's food. What There's have pretzel I ever bites. Eaten wings? There's pretzel bites. Pretzel oh bites? wow. There's pizza. <laughs> I place. never knew. Oh my god. All right, you're done. That's Goodbye. it. Take the headphone <laughs> off. Thank you for joining us. Kelsey's next. Hold on. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> Hi. Is this is what home is like for you? Every day. Oh my God. Every day. You guys think you want to know why I love the brigade? <laughs> why I love to come and talk on the show? Up. You get yeah. beat up. Beat up. What's up? Hi, Kelsey. Why can't I hear anything? You what can't. do you mean? You can't hear us? Can no. you hear us? Hello? Oh, hold on. What oh. do you mean? You can't hear us? Hold on. That was weird. Hello? Can you hear us now? <laughs> How about now? Can you hear us no. talking? Oh, I'll fix it. Hold Kendall, right. can you hear them? Oh, no, I just heard oh. oh, yeah, we just hear you from the outside. Really? You're not plugged in? Okay. Well, I can hear you, actually. All right, watch your ears. How about now? Can you hear oh, now? Oh, yeah, I can hear now. Oh, it sounds good, doesn't it? Yeah, it sounds better. Now, that's why Kendall wasn't answering any of the questions. She couldn't hear a damn thing. All right. All right, well, we'll, we'll let you back on. You can answer one question. She doesn't want to. Kels, how was the drive? It wasn't bad until I got off on Sahara. Right? Yeah, then there's traffic, but I'm used to it every day, driving down to school, so. Yeah. How are you otherwise? Fine. Wait. Okay, that's not a tat, is it? No. It's just he a, a henna. Henna. Henna, yeah, yeah. Henna. yeah. That's okay. yeah. That's what the hell's a henna? It's a temporary tattoo. He probably doesn't even know about my tattoo that I have still. <laughs> I did that without asking him, so. This is great. <laughs> Uncle Matt. Sorry. I didn't know what I was walking into. I didn't know what I was walking into. That's that. awesome. <laughs> Sorry. Where is it? It's behind my ear. You can't even see it. Oh, awesome. No one knows. <laughs> Does Mama know? Yeah. Oh. oh. <laughs> Hello. I went with the girl she works with. Really? A co-worker, yeah. Breaking news are here on the BVB. Hi. Yep. Oh, this Hi, is Dad. great. Hi. Oh. Hi, Dad. Hi. <laughs> this Welcome is to the show, Kels. This is your life, Dad. Yeah. Thank you for coming down letting me know. I'm, I'm glad. Thank you for the support. Well, you didn't leave me the parking pass either. Uh -oh. I will take care of it what now. What parking pass? I didn't even know you to acknowledged get in the parking. to get in the parking. Oh, park. you don't need to. No, yeah, it's, we'll it's, it's on the way out. Yeah, it's we'll on the way it. in. Yeah, it's on the way you. out. I got yeah, you. well, I'm running around the house looking for it. That's why I, I'm an hour late. I didn't know. Uh. You didn't say you were coming when I asked you, and I put it out there because I offered you the same job to be Eric's assistant. You didn't answer me. You didn't tell me what time the game was or the show was. How'd your test go at school? Did you I've, have a big test yesterday? Yeah, I failed it. Oh, this is this is breaking. <laughs> this is great news. Is that being the you just pulling his chain or are you serious? No, I'm serious. Uh oh, I don't like that. What happened? I don't know. Oh come on now. You're I'll be fine. You'll be fine. I'll okay. figure it out. You will figure it she out. She always but, does. But still, you got her on this hard seventy-five thing. You know this, right? I didn't right? get her on anything. She chose. Well, no, she chose know, to commit to it to herself. It's a it's a it's a contract with yourself. It's not a contract with anything else. You yeah. have to hold yourself accountable to it. If you do it, it's phenomenal. So how are you doing it? Yeah, I'm on day five. I actually have my apple and my trail mix with me. Look at that. I'm proud of you. That's tremendous. So now, look at that. after two weeks, mm -hmm. you're going to want to quit. Yeah. And, that, and that's when you push through. Yeah. Because the first, the first 14 days, it's all adrenaline. You're like, I'm committed. This is all great. It's the thing I talk to Madeline all the time. Motivation goes away. Dedication is what gets you through. And if you dedicate yourself to it, Motivation doesn't matter. 
because there's days you're going to wake up and go, I'm right. not going outside. Write that down. Yeah. Motivation goes away. Dedication is what gets you through. That's too long for a T-shirt. But that's what it is, though. But we need yeah. to put that on yeah. something. That'll it be on fades. something. I mean, it's David. I love that. I'm stealing David Goggins. That's Goggins. All right, that's fine. That's Goggins. Goggins. All right. but, but that's his whole principle about if you, on a Tuesday morning, get up and it's pissing rain and it's cold and nasty, easiest thing to do is I'm going back to bed. Uh-huh. Nope. If you tell yourself you're going to do it, you got to you hold yourself accountable, and that's the biggest thing about the Heart 75. It's not the weight loss. It's not anything else. It's not. It's not a weight loss program. It's not a health kick. It's telling yourself I'm going to do this, and you hold yourself to that standard. Yeah. And it will help you in every aspect. I get so much stuff done. I don't like being off of it because I'm so regimented when I'm on it. Yeah. I know what I'm doing, when, how, every single is down right to a minute. Mm-hmm. And I get so much more accomplished. Are you sore yet? Yeah, my good. legs, <laughs> good. my legs are sore. Good, that's good, that's yeah. good. And that's gonna suck, yeah. okay? I'm not, there's no, no ifs and buts around it. It's gonna suck. I think the athletic part of it, the working out part of it won't be the issue. It's the, it's the, the plan and the, the eating. Water sucks. And the water right? I've it, been I get, doing so much better. The first two days, you. I yep. had to chug it the last okay. hour. Right. Now I'm like, I got a gallon down by 8 o'clock. You drink a gallon of water by 8 a.m.? No, no, by no. 8, 8 p.m. Oh, okay, good. I was just saying, yeah. wow. No. That's good. No, no. no, no that's yeah. good. I don't even want to hear how that would even be possible. You she could, but it before the, the, 8 the great thing about it, I mean, too, she's up all night. is you don't realize in the desert how we are all so water deficient on how much we're supposed to drink. Yeah. You're going to, uh, my in my internal organs like feel so much better when I'm on it because I force myself to drink. Mm-hmm. Water, Otherwise, baby. I don't want to yeah. drink a gallon of water a day. It's like, I don't no. want to do that, but you <laughs> force yourself to do it. Yeah. And then when you don't have it, like in my house right now, I used to have soda. I used to have juice. I have nothing, nothing. but water. water. Yeah. yeah. That's all. And Madeline, all she drinks right. now is nothing it's but water. It. Yep. Yeah. It's flavored water. She drinks like spin right. spin yeah. and stuff. But like, in the desert, we need to drink so much, even before, like, the hard 75. Mm-hmm. A gallon of water a day, you will feel awesome. Yeah. Just, just better. alone. Everything yeah. feels better. Your, your yeah. skin feels better. You're more energetic. It's Now, you go to the bathroom like 18, I was just about times. to say that. E- every night, I'm in the bathroom all constantly. The time. All, I am too. Yeah. Even now, it's, it, all the time. But your kidneys get cleaned out, and all the toxins flush out. It's it's awesome. What Are you, are you reading or listening? Do you take my cheat code, or are you actually reading? No, I'm reading, but... For school, I, it's, it's, yeah, that's yeah, easy. Yeah, okay. I use that for that's some great. times when I don't get Absolutely. to the book, but yeah. I cheat. I don't read. I listen. <laughs> so I, I, I don't do he the does. reading. He does. He listens I to listen, the book. I, yeah. I, listen, I listen to the audio. Yeah. Well, while I'm while I'm rocking or while I'm running or lifting, whatever, I listen. So I, I cross off the list there. So technically, it's like the true hard 75, but it's it's awesome. I'm, I'm really proud of you. It's really Thank awesome. You. Good job to commit Thank to you. it. You commit to yourself. It's really, really good. It's a journey. Yes. Okay? It's a journey. <laughs> And it's going to be, do you have a... And it's okay to fail. Like, you have a bad day. You have a bad day working out. The workout isn't great. Like, keep pushing through. See, that doesn't like, matter. As long as you do it. As long as, as, long as you do it. You, you have, have to do it. There is no wins it's and losses like, on that. It's just yeah. like softball. You're going to yeah. have bad days at the plate. Yep. You're going to have a bad day behind the plate. Yep. Like, you're going to have a bad day. You've got to come back the next day. Mm-hmm. Yes. And it, do, it's all You like it better when he says it than when I say it. Of course. That's how it always works. Yes. You're the dad. Yeah, why would I listen to you? Yeah, it's, you're the dad. It's, it's totally different. I'm <laughs> I'm the, the, the safest person. I understand. It's easier for people to say they want to do it than to do it. Just mm-hmm. remember that. Saying it is so easy. Oh, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. To actually do it, the accomplishment you feel when you get done is like I put my mind to something that I am only me. There's no Your dad's not holding you accountable. Your mom's not holding you accountable. Only you're holding yourself accountable. Mm-hmm. And when that internal clock goes off when you don't want to do something and then you go and do it, it's actually been proven. Your brain starts to grow. When you do things that you tell your brain not to do, it changes your brain chemistry when you do it. Oh, I didn't know that. Yes. And That's it, cool. And you, as your age, you'll start to figure out later in life that will build that scar tissue in your brain to help you. I didn't learn this till I was 40. Yeah. Okay? I didn't get into this till I was 40. I wish I knew about Heart 75 when I was your age. Yeah. I, I don't know. My, my my career athletically may have gone differently if I had known that discipline. That oh, I, I say that all the time. I had no discipline. We didn't have all I, that. I had no discipline. No. In, when yeah. I was Way practicing, different. it was like... I hated it. I was like, practice? I was like, God, oh, I see, I practice. Love practice. Oh, I hated practice. I was practice. a big practice I, guy. I wanted to play, play, play. All I wanted to do was play. I hated practice. <laughs> but if I learned more about what those drills were for, if someone explained things to me more as like, this is what you're going to accomplish if you do this and this. Mm-hmm. I had poor coaches. So I, a lot of my coaches sucked, so that was part of the yeah. problem too. But I'm very proud of you. Five days is awesome. I had a bad awesome. coach too at one point. Hey. You see that? Hey. I'm in her coach. 
See that? Hey, you get no, no credit, boys and girls. You get, girls. All the, you get all the credit. Are you staying until after the show? Are we going to get food and stuff? Probably. Or? All right, good. Great. Where's Mama? I'm only staying and going to dinner for all it's going to dinner. Oh. All I right. can't go to dinner. You, I can't. I literally go get Maddie. Right. I can bring all her right. back. Maybe we'll, I, I can get yeah, Maddie and come we'll, back. All right, we'll see. All right. I should have texted her. I should have picked her up on the way. You can go get her. Oh. Yeah, it's not a bad idea. Should've all right. What we did. Thanks, Gels. Thanks for coming. Awesome. Yeah. That's gotta, middle um, consig. I, I got to have Kendall come back on so she can actually hear that the oh, headphones yeah. work. Okay, yeah, yeah. All right, Kendall, one more question. One it's more question. 76 to 60. Is it? A&M's up by 16 on Nebraska. This is you. like a roast, Austin. This it, is like a roast. It really is. I feel like a roast. Roasting. I, yeah. He's right, putting out yeah. about tattoos. Yeah. And putting out about things he didn't Pull that know. up a little bit. 42, okay. 32. Uh, can you hear us now? Yep. Does it sound good? No. It doesn't no? sound good? Nope. Doesn't sound better? The sound of my voice doesn't sound good? I mean, I can hear you, so okay. I guess. How does but Matt sound? But it sounds better, though. Better than you. Oh. Matt sounds better than me? Ouch. Yeah. Shot. All right. But do you, you hear us better this way, though? Yep. Okay, so what's your question? How was school today? <laughs> What? The eye roll it, you brutal. had the big gate today. It was it was good, oh, right? A yeah. gate today on Friday? We didn't do anything. You didn't do anything? No. Uh, oh. Do you like right. gate? No? I don't like my teacher. My teacher's oh. No. My teacher's an old lady. Okay. That's okay though. Oh. She's annoying. Oh. She's annoying? Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah. Maybe you're annoying. <laughs> <laughs> no? Maybe uh -oh. You should stop talking. Uh -oh. Really? <laughs> yeah, really. Don't, I can tell Eric stop, to cut your mic anytime. Stop. Don't fight with your daughter on the show. I need one joke. <laughs> Do you have one joke you could tell? Anything? No. You don't no. have one? Nope. That's hard. On demand? Tell She's jokes. got a, a roster full of jokes. Telling jokes no, on demand. That's hard to do. Maybe two years ago. Really? Yeah, really. Think of one. Think two years ago. Fly? That's nope. hard to do. I don't know. I, don't, I could do that. I could do that. No way I could do knock, that. Knock, knock. Knock, knock joke. What? <laughs> you know it. What? Who's there? What? Disguise. Disguise? This Disguise who? This guy's killing me with these knock-knock jokes. Hey. This guy's killing me with these knock-knock jokes. Hey. It's like a All dice. Right, thanks. I just That's wanted you to hear. It's not even funny. It's like dice, not even funny? Dice no, clay. it isn't. It was funny. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Thanks. Don't slam the mic. Watch the All right. court. So we we are we all are right. up all, all right. we're almost we're to our one hour and forty minutes here, and then we will we'll say about a sports grid here in, uh, in, in just one second, and then do a couple things here before we before we wrap because you wanted to have some bonus time conversations. I did. So we'll yeah. we'll, 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 we'll do that here on on just so a, Vinko Martin Savage just popped in the chat and said, "When is roll call?" It's a different type of roll call. It's bud. a different type of roll call today. So it's it's yeah. it's, it's, it's a different roll I mean, call. I saw. Oh, okay. there you go. Eric right. can pop them up on the screen. You guys can all see them. Oh, uh, you know, even the viewers on the replay and everything else on the YouTube, because if you don't subscribe and you don't watch it live, you, you got to get in the chat to see it. It was funny. A couple, a, a, a guy and a girl walked past and the, the woman looked at the guy and said, what's that? And he, he looked at the BBB and he goes, ah, some stupid sports gambling podcast. <laughs> I was like, at least the, yeah. lo but at least the logo well, told right. him yeah, 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 exactly yeah, what yeah, we were. Yeah, I was like, exactly, you're right. That's yeah. what we are. A stupid, yeah. a stupid <laughs> sports yeah. gambling podcast. That's <laughs> actually going to go on all of the literature. What <laughs> are you guys? A stupid, stupid sports, sports gambling podcast. podcast. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I was like Pat says, this program stinks. I was like, yeah. oh, that's, 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 that's great. Really, yeah. Have that's you talked stupid. to Gump yet, though, by the way, after getting roasted by, by <laughs> this morning, Cream? This morning. Talk to him. Is he proud of his performance? Hey, he said he couldn't see the rim. He couldn't see anything. He expected to get a point. He's he mad had, he got shut out. He had the biggest smile on his face oh, playing. God. He looked like he, he was, was having like, the time he, he of did. his life. He did. He really did. It, it was, was so it good. Was awesome. It I was, was really like, funny. that's awesome, yeah. Gump. Yeah. They, I mean, uh, he's a six foot nine D one basketball player. Like you have a problem. You said that to me like yesterday we were talking yeah. about it. You forget when it's right in front of you and that guy puts his hand up. No, you I can't see AC, what my friend. I have I have two friends, one six eleven, one six nine, and when they're with me and they go do like if they just like go ahead and spread their arms. The Chicago out, guy, AC, yeah, he's six nine. When we went to dinner he's with a, AC at the Super Bowl, he's a big boy. When we were standing on that street corner when yeah. we met him, I was like, "You're Bro. a big boy." And then uh. he does this. He go, it's it's like a it's, it's a pterodactyl. It's different. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. So this is a college athlete who's in the prime of his you know health. In, 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 in fitness, good luck, Gump. <laughs> I mean, yeah. you got a kid who's just going to be, you can't see the world. He doesn't take over everything, blocks the sun out. You can't see anything. So We got to thank everybody, by the way. We made our 2K subscribers. We did. We, we did. got 2K subscribers. Okay. 
Uh, um, let me do a couple things before we get out of yeah. here because I need to get on get it on screen here for, for everything going on. Okay. Um, first and foremost, huge thank you to Red Tail Lounge for being here. You guys can bet here at Red Tail throughout the entire NCAA tournament. So when you're coming in, you can go to the book, but if you want to come to a sports bar that's got food and uh, really comfortable couches and a lot of cool stuff, Red Tail has a betting kiosk. It's a 21 plus venue because of the betting kiosk, okay? So we're gonna come in here, it's gonna be 21 plus, but they do have that. Behind us is Zook Nightclub. You guys may be able to see it. Thursday night, right there. Thursday night, industry nights, all locals get complimentary entry every single Thursday night here at Zook, at Zook Nightclub Ooh. at Resorts World. The IU Day Club, there is a bunch of stuff going on. Lewis the Child. Okay. Do you know who that is? I don't. Okay, big party tomorrow with Louis, Louis or Louis the Child okay. at AO Day, uh, Day Club. That's okay. happening tomorrow. Other things on Red Tail they've got here. UFC fights all the time. Every UFC card. Oh, this is the place. Colin, the manager, told us about that. They're showing tomorrow tomorrow yep, night. Every card, though. But every card. Every they card. They do every card. They show the fights yep, here. Every single card. And uh, Sugar Sean. Yes. Is This is his hangout when yes. he comes to watch the fight. So I am, when I, I have people coming to town in early May. Yes. And so Ali on 66, I've not gone to this yet, but I have to do this. So this is the 66th floor bar. It oh, it's amazing. Insane views at night. It's amazing. Here in Vegas. Insane views at day. Yeah. It's amazing. It's a showcase. They've got a bunch of fine Might and rare Might be a spot spirits. of our next show. Oh, let's do it. I'd love to be up there. It might be the spot of our next Let's show. go up there. I would love to do Ali on 66 on the 66th floor. And then they, they got Carver's Steak. If you're looking for a steakhouse, this is my favorite steakhouse in town. Yep. It's, it's Carver's Steak. They give you a weapon to go to war with. You yeah. pick your own knife at Carver's Steak. It's got great appetizers. I, I mean, some of the steaks in Vegas, it's hard to get a bad steak in Vegas, but some of them kind of go above and beyond. Carver's Steak is absolutely tremendous, tremendous food. So... Huge thank you out to everybody here who brought us here. One, Richard Corbin and the Sportsbook people yep. who brought us here. Thank you so much. Kelvin and Marticia both were awesome to work with throughout the entire process. We hope we're back here a lot. We hope this is just the start of what's going to be a long-term relationship. John and Colin here John stored and Colin the stuff. Here. You know, it worked out great. Taking care of everything. Yeah. So, Kelvin. Oh, Kelvin. Oh, yeah, yeah. Kelvin and, and Marticia. Kelvin yeah. and Marticia both were awesome. Yeah. Thank you for both of them for everything they did to get us hooked up. We Look hope to be back shot. at some point. Look at that shot that he just put flipped there. Yeah. It's a, Look that's, at that's that. That's Red Tail. That's, that's Red Tail. Red Tail, boys and that's girls. Red that's what it looks like. Yeah, it's very, very cool. It's gorgeous. It's great. Gorgeous. We're coming to Vegas. Definitely come hit it up for it's sure. It's a hidden gem it's right hit, now. It really is it's a hidden great. gem. I mean, it, the, the book is jam-packed. You can come here. You can make bets. Sit, eat drink and be left alone it's awesome in here right now so like it's a really it's, cool place yeah. very very cool vibe if you guys are watching on sports grid or listening on sirius xm thank you for being a part of this we're back on monday for the rest of you guys don't move we're gonna do a little bit of a bonus time extra for us here on the other side back on monday both on sports grid and on sirius xm bvb on youtube don't move bonus time starts right now okay perfect so thank you for that. Uh, thank you for allowing us to do that. So we have a couple minutes here uh, until we have to get off at the top of the hour. I just so. want to tell the boys and girls that are in the chat. Yeah. Thank you all for, I mean, it feels like a lot of people watched the show yesterday. Yep. And got to see Roger and, you know, got to see Bear. Well, I'll, I'll say this got, because I, I got somebody who said that to me who was watching it and um, – when you put legend up, when E put legend up on Roger Long, they said that was an unbelievable, that was really cool to see. That like, it he really- He gets the show. Yeah, that was a really cool thing to put him on legend because it's like, yeah, it, it helped to kind of show what he meant to us as much as we meant to him. Listen, that's the first time anyone's seen him. Right. And everyone, like he yeah. said to us, I feel like I know you guys. Right. Because you're in front of me so often. Yeah on the show everyone feels like they know roger right from the, the chat, chat from right. his name roger long senior brigade member that's yeah. it yeah very, and very no cool. voice the guy still has a landline he and does. we got him to come here for the second time in his life come to Vegas. the last time he came was 40 years ago he had he shows a a, a, a chip yesterday from the desert inn from the desert the original inn. desert inn the desert casino which is unbelievable yeah which so is long know, gone old school vegas 
Because in Vegas, every street used to end with a casino. So Desert Inn is a street I drive quite a bit. Yep. But I moved here way after Desert Inn was long gone. Yep. The street name's still Desert Inn. Yep. But it's long gone. It's been totally, you know, demolished years ago. But very, very cool to see him. And Francisco came in, our guys from Boston that came in, which was fun. We had people from Indiana, New York, Florida, California, who all came in, Arizona, uh, for this weekend. And really, it, this, is, this is very fun when you and I get a chance to meet people in person. And I talk love to it. I mean, Larry on. from Buffalo had yeah. to leave. You know, he he was the one that flew the furthest, I think, furthest east. Yeah. He said, guys, I don't even know how to explain what you guys are doing, but I love it. Right. And I just wanted to come and say hello. He picked up a hat. He nice. flew in, you know, Wednesday night. He's flying out first thing tomorrow morning. He literally came to come over here and meet a couple people from, you know, the brigade. Yeah. And, and – say hello to us it was it, it's just been an awesome thing well i mean we're saying thank you i want to thank eric does an incredible job with oh, us please it, it's, i mean it's it's, it's, it's it's the pictures today the show would not said, do it, it nearly not, what it does no. without eric and no. it, it's it's been yeah. uh, i've told him this privately but i mean like you know we often you and i talk about the universe working in very strange and unique ways like <laughs> eric walked into my class and i and i, I had no idea i'd be working with him i mean he took my class i was his teacher and i just at the end of it it was him and a, and a girl named Riley Pay, who we brought Riley to props. Riley is now part of the first ever all female minor league play by play broadcast crew. Oh, that's her. That's in, right. In yeah. The, with, yeah. With the Portland Sea Dogs up in where my sister lives. And she's met my sister. She's gone out with my sister. And, like, you know, Portland is a, is a unique place. My whole freaking family is there. And, you know, so him and Riley have both done huge things. And it's, it's so rewarding for me just to see. You know, there was somebody yesterday, a girl who is going to do big things in TV news. I mean, she's really, really talented. She was back. She was doing an internship. She was back to shoot uh, a story on campus at UNLV. And it's just it's so rewarding for me to see these kids come back and be like, where are you guys going to go? Because I just want to watch where you guys right. go yeah. and what you guys yeah. accomplish yeah. and where you go and just say, I knew you for 10 seconds in your life and just was a part of your moment, part of your life for just a split second. And, you know, Eric has, has been such an unbelievable key component to us doing live shows like if we weren't able oh, to do it we couldn't do it we wouldn't be able we wouldn't to do, do it, it. We, 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 it would not happen we wouldn't be able to it would not happen we wouldn't be able yeah. to do it at all shit down I, I, I will say yes so just quick yeah off that note yeah you guys see what we've been able to do yeah you guys see the quality we bring clip this send it to anybody that you guys Look know around the country doing we can take this yeah. anywhere <laughs> it's, you, we just we just need a good internet connection right. and yeah. that's all we need that's, we can take it anywhere we, we bring all the pieces yeah we bring the fire and like i said just clip <laughs> this send this to anybody right or let them link. know hey shit yeah. we'll go to we'll go to you know we'll right. go to we'll go wherever, 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 right. Arizona. Yes. yeah we'll go, we can say it now we're on bonus time yeah, yeah, bonus. as you can say whatever you want baby like i said that's right your daughter can do it anywhere that's all right she got Send a tattoo. <laughs> I mean, seriously, what the fuck? I mean, how did I not know this? Yeah, I told you I don't know anything in the house. She got a tattoo. He's right, though. Yeah. I, you know I was on the phone with this today. I, I was going to tell you after the show. I was on the phone with uh, some people in the Midwest. I sent them. They, they saw the, they saw the oh. video. They're, someone from New York called me today. Oh. Somebody from New Jersey called me today. I was exhausted. I had a lot of early calls. Wow. Uh, and I'm going to get to the hat orders. I, I yeah. tried to answer as many as I Keep could on today. Coming. They, I mean, you guys have been awesome. Like 702 yep. 702 is the text yep. number. Text it. Text, text it. it. Text and, it. And, and, we'll, and we'll get to that. Yeah. But people saw us do the show yesterday with Ease Help. And I got really early this morning inquiries. What do you guys need to come here? And I went, hey. an internet connection. And power. And, right, and, and a lot of plugs with wires that work. I forgot to text you this morning. I'm sorry. sorry I, I'm driving I, I, down, I, I and, I go, and I go, yeah. I go. what was I supposed to remind you of? And you're like, it doesn't matter. I'm already here. I'm already but set up. No, not, only, not only am I already here, I'm already fully set up. <laughs> like, Everything was already set up. I was, I was, I was like, like aggravated. Hey, by like, the way, hey, what are those to remind you? Like, I'm already good. Of, yeah. I already know. But I'm like I here, said, like, like we got people yeah. that are all over. Right. And I think the exciting part of 2024 is that we can take this show on the road. Absolutely. I mean, I, 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 told, I said it before on the air. I thought, I said, if we're not doing the show in other places, that's going to be frustrating. I mean, that's going to be incredibly aggravating if, if we're not able to do 
you know, this show somewhere outside of the 702 area code. Like, that's a goal for me this year, to take this show out of our, our, our whatever area code it is here. Eight yeah, one, 702. Eight, or the, the, yeah, area code 702, but it's. So we have that other 725, yeah. but that's so on the put, outskirts. Wherever we are. Yeah. Out, out, of, the, out of the confines out of, the of Nevada. State. I want to, yeah. Out of the I'll state. California, the state. Yeah. Midwest, yeah. Chicago. I mean, there's places in Chicago that we easily can go, and I'm going to go scout them out when I'm up there in a couple of weeks to go and walk around and be like, we can do a show here, we can do a show there, we can do a show there. So I want to check that out when, when I'm in town. I want to go do shows. I mean, I had somebody ask me about going back to Iowa. Like, would we, would you guys go back to Iowa? I said, yes, absolutely. Uh, 100%. We'd go to Des Moines. We'd take the show on the road and go to Des Moines. Um, I think it would be wild one day to do a show from Boston, to go and do a show from somewhere in the city whether it be outside of Fenway or at a sports book, one of the books in town. Um, What's but- nice is, though, it, it, it's a reality because, one, we'll do it, and we got a dog over there in E yeah. that, that, that we can do it with. But, two, we can talk about the gambling stuff. Like, before, that was a, that was a red flag. Yep. That oh, was yeah. literally, oh, we, oh yeah. we can't have you guys here. No. You guys, yeah. you, you, you're talking about gambling. You're like, well, no, 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 that's not a factor now. Nope. And... Ironically, we probably talk less about the gambling than we do about life and everything else. Amen to that. Yeah. You know, right. right. Where and that's what resonates with people, though. I mean, right. No one comes up here and talks about our picks. No. Like, no, no one's talking no. about what, what games we've bet. Like, it's not even no. it, the conversations we get from people are when you talked about this or that or like a lifestyle thing or like what happened to you, what happened to you with your with a stroke or, you know, they talk, talk to me about the divorce or whatever it is. They just talk about what, what we talk about in our lives. Yeah. That makes it so much bigger than just betting and talking. And, and I look, there's the people who just do betting, and, and I think there's spaces for everybody in, in the world. I, I think we just fit a different space and doing a different type of show uh, that I really love doing and really appreciate love doing. By the way, the, how are the first half unders doing? Not that good. They were. What were they I yesterday? think they won yesterday. Barely, though. Yeah. Well, I mean, the games that went over went way over, though. Like it I was, mean, like I th- some of them the are, 16 games yesterday, I think they went. What was it? Nine and seven, seven and nine. I mean, I, I what was remember. Alabama? It's forty-five, thirty-two with two minutes to play in the first half for Alabama. That's over. Yeah, it's seventy-seven right now. It's got to be uh, what they put the halftime total. No, it might have been eighty. Okay, yeah, but, but yeah, it's going to go over. Got two minutes left. Yeah, to get, it should you know, go over. It should go over. Just, that game didn't go over today with Western Kentucky. I leaned. I was. I, I mean, it was I so on pace until the end, and it was. Yeah, yeah. they're fine. Oh, okay. they're, 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 they're in charge of everything. Oh, I was like, where are they going? I don't know. Where are they she going? She took our water and left. It's okay. She needs water. It's fine. It's fine. It's all, it's all, it's all yeah. good. It, I, I, it was always my big problem, to find the water to drink. It's a right. pain in the ass. Right. <laughs> Finding <laughs> the water. Walking around, like, yeah. I need to drink another two gallons, of, another drink quart, another two cups, whatever it is, whatever you're short on the day. Have and you it, noticed the amount of tall people here this week? It's basketball. <laughs> it's basketball. <laughs> it's, it's, it is so funny. When you go in the book. Yeah. Hi. It's it's NBA Summer League week. Oh, that's right. Yep. And it's this week. Right, you right, right. see the tallest. It's the tallest crowd yeah. of the year. I used to joke when I was at the counters, like there would be people come up and you could they would block all of the view of the book. <laughs> it was like, wait a second, this guy's really that big? Yeah, yeah. And it, it, it's a fun. Uh, it's such a fun week. I think the games are just going to get uh-huh. better and it's better. A decent hit that I got. And better. How about that? Bet three hundred bucks on 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 Yale to win. Thanks to that DM. Nice I job. got a guy yesterday. Uh, I stopped over at the other joint on the way home. Right. At Circa, and um, somebody came up to me and like, "Hey, Dave, we met before. You know, I was in. I'm in the Circa contest, and nice. blah 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 blah." He had Oakland money line. Good for him. What was it? Ten to one. Hundred and fifty bucks. He had plus seven fifty. Damn. Good for like him. Like, I won a thousand dollars. I was going crazy. That's awesome. I said, What Good. was the sweat like? He said, I was I was going nuts and I was um I was it was obvious that I wasn't sweating the plus fourteen. Right. You know? Right. It right. was great. Right. Yeah. All right, let's wrap. Uh, All right, let's go. Thank you to everybody who watched, who was a part of it, who was here. Appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you to Red Tail. Thank you to Resorts World. Hopefully we're back at some point in the very near future to be here. Looking forward to seeing all of you come on out next time we do another one of these BVB weekends. Monday, back in our normal spot. He's Dave. I'm Matt for the brigade behind us. Thank you for being here, guys. Thank you for watching. Talk to you on Monday for another episode of the Bostonian versus the book.